Hello everyone and welcome back to The Temptations of Aitse. I am your host, the Uncommon Guru, your Uncommon DM, and these are my friends. Say hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. And we got a new face here. Would you like to quickly introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, what's up? It's your boy. <laughs> 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 that's, that's all I'm known as. I'm your boy. You know, I was expecting you, like you, us joking about being professional, and then this is what you start with. No, thank you. Fuck the Bless. Professionalism. <laughs> Fuck the professionalism. I'm, I'm. Uh, my character's gonna appear later. I don't know how much later, but later. I thought she said believe it, cause I'm deaf. Believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. I will shoot you on sight! Oh. As I threaten the fucking cleric. Uh, hello, I'm Paris and I'll be playing Ivara. I'm Adrino and I'll be playing Zadim. I'm Varan and I'll be playing Ixius. Right. And when last we left. Snake oh, man. Yes, the uh, clerical wizard Snake Man. And when last we left our intrepid group of heroes, after fighting against some unruly undead, they'd made their way down into this buried city, coming into uh, a branching tunnel path where, before, Arcus, the little prism wing, had found some shinies. In the room they entered into, looking around, getting their bearings, they realized that the place was unnaturally clean. Looking around as well, they also found things ranging from a journal to a pendant, all of which seemed out of place, not where it should be. But picking up a few of the items to review later, they pressed onward and made their way to looking over this vast underground city that had been long since buried in the ground. Sliding down and making their way deeper in, they reviewed some of the runes and tried to see what all had happened here, trying piecing it together, ranging from finding a, the body of a dead dwarven person who had written a final message, to finding a carved-in message into the stonework of a cellar of a home. Eventually, they chose to make their way towards an old temple to Seas, the god of stones, which had been defaced and apparently abandoned, save for the figure at the end of the walkway, kneeling before an altar. Turning around, they'd seen the half-gone face of a dwarven lord, who, when trying to negotiate and speak with, promptly decided to send ghoulish guards at them. With hardly any difficulty on their part, they dispatched of these ghoulish ghasts, which not were, were not ghasts, they were just ghouls. If they were ghasts, they'd have been smarter. <laughs> but that being said, mm -hmm. after taking a, a quick break, because uh, of them, Bright Eyes, the griffin, had taken the most damage and just needed a, just needed a moment to breathe, uh, they currently have found themselves ending their rest and still in the temple. So, what would you like to do? I mean... I would assume this is after the short rest, so we should probably go after the fucking thing that controls the zombies and gas underneath here. Uh, can we scope out the temple a little bit first, just to see what's what? Yeah, uh, you didn't take any damage, so that you can, uh, if you wanted to use the short rest to do so, you can. That works, yeah. Just a perception check? Or uh, investigation check. Depends. Are you just like sitting down looking around or are you actually going in to look into things? Mm, can I do both? One and then the other? If you're actively just looking around, yes. Depending on what you roll for the perception check will determine the DC for your investigation check. Okay, that's fine. So perception first, then investigation. Yes. Not bad. Okay, and investigation. That sounds about right. You you look around and at first you're like, man, this yeah, this is an old place. It's dec it's you know been defiled. It's you know, man, and you kind of you stand in the middle of the area. You look around. If you kill things, they die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
I'll say check. <laughs> Can I ask for some help with this investigation? Because apparently I'm not getting anywhere with it. Uh, right now you're looking around. It doesn't. With the 21 perception check, the only thing that's really standing out to you is the altar, and the only thing that like when the reason why you would have had such a thought is because there is a there are a few skulls that are on the altar, which you're just like, yep. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> that's the only thing that you've currently found is that altar. Nothing All else right, seems to stand out. <laughs> can I go see the altar? Yep. Uh, you can absolutely approach the altar. Uh, on the altar, the cloth on the altar is definitely not immaculate. It is the opposite of that. It is tarnished and it is worn, clearly showing signs of wear and tear from where other things have been moved about on occasions. Uh, this, there are a f series of skulls on there, uh, which just from looking at them, you can make a nature check to try and see if you can determine like gender, age, or anything like that from the bones because you do hunt. You are a ranger, so I will okay. allow that. Let's see. Okay. Uh, one of them, they're, they're very similar in their composition, meaning that same species, uh, likely dwarves, seeing as how this is a dwarven city. You'd guess just from looking at them over that the first one is likely a woman's skull, just from the fact that the jawline is not necessarily smoother, but it's not as hard as you would imagine from just looking at most dwarven jawlines where you know this their you know, when you can see their jawlines through their beard. Uh, but it's definitely not as rigid and chiseled looking. It's a lot smoother, more elegant, as is the second skull, meaning that these are both probably female mm -hmm. skulls. Uh, the second one, though, is smaller, indicating that it's probably a younger uh, entity, possibly well, with dwarves, you're not sure how long they live, but more than likely a child. Okay. Can I take another crack at the room? Uh, with the, the Nat 1 investigation, I'm going to say no. All right. You've I will found the altar. turn everybody and say, well, I don't see anything else in this room of interest. What about you? I was saying, did anyone? I mean, he said that to everyone in the room. Currently. Okay. Well, shit. Can I investigate the fucking room? <laughs> yeah. I ain't know if I'm gonna be allowed to or not. All right. You're allowed to. Nope. <laughs> Better than me. There we go. We're getting somewhere now. Uh, looking it over, uh, Naivara, you're just like, mm, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you know, there's an altar. It, this is a, it's, it's a church, obviously. Ixius, you're more familiar with things of religion, and most altars don't look movable. <laughs> mm, I'll call everyone over it's like come help me push this all right I'll the shot. weakest one is the one who noticed it by the way if what she hey, is why I called everyone over you can't move it uh athletics uh com this is going to be a combined athletics check okay, okay. which I will allow bright eyes to assist what? with oh cool so you can either roll with advantage wow. or roll two uh, I will roll with advantage. Okay. Good thing you had the advantage, otherwise that would have failed. Mm. Yeah, but uh, between the three of you, you managed to inch it, I'd say about three inches with the push. Um, it clearly, there's clearly some other way to do this because it is just taking a long time to move it. You're essentially, um, just, Paint the image can in your I mind. Check for, hmm? Can I check for like a switch or anything on this altar? You can. Uh, while you're, you know, doing that, uh, the way you're pushing it right now, uh, from the way that you see that it moves, is that basically from the small side of a rectangle, that's where you're pushing against at the moment. If you were trying to push it from the other way, it looks like it should move the that direction, which is why mm. you're pushing it from that side because Ixius did see that it moved that way. Um, Obviously, if you tried pushing it from the long way, the DC would be higher. 
Gotcha. Naturally. I roll that investigation to quickly review the altar. Can I get advantage if one of the guys helps me? Sure. I would imagine Ixius would be like, okay, there's got to be yep. your way. Yeah. <laughs> I got a plan if we don't find the switch. That should be good. 24. Nice. No, you, you find it. Um, it is in the, on the back side of it, uh, there is a carving uh, of an entity who looks like they are holding a chisel with a hammer raised above their head. Uh, I'm going to say no art, no religion check for uh, Ixius. That is Seas, who is known as the Stone Founder. Uh, looking down at where the chisel is impacting, it is a image of what appears to be a globe, uh, likely the world, uh, which looks like it is depressible. I will push it. You push it in, you hear a And you hear as the altar slides and moves uh, fully to where you can actually go down and s to this set of stairs that is hidden underneath this altar. Okay, now question before I jump down here. This is where our little fucking necromancer, whatever the hell he is, went, right? No. He left out well, the door. I'm scared to fucking investigate as opposed to chase him, but you know what? Fuck it. Uh, would you like me to go first? Yeah, sure. You can be the meat shield just in case something happens. Yeah, I'll bust out my shield and I'll take out my bladeless hilt. Mm -hmm. And I'll cast light on my shield. So you're basically using it like a, a lantern to spotlight, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you make your way down the stairs. Uh, it appears to be... Uh, first, it looks like it's going just straight down, but you immediately realize that it's actually curving you into basically a spiral staircase hmm. that, go down, that goes down, I'd say, about two stories mm -hmm. uh, before there's a definite shift that makes it feel like it's tilting and a doorway that's half-collapsed, uh, looking like either that or the stairs were pushed up, making it a little harder to get through. Could I judge whether or not this was done uh, based on the collapse of the city or for some other reason? Looking it over, you can make a educated guess that that is likely from the collapse of the city. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to make and you roll a nature check on that. You've heard enough from what was uh, discussed by Ebrin to get a good guess. Okay. Um, do... I know whether or not this is something we could all move, or is this just insurmountable? No, I'm saying that the stairway has been pushed up. You can still slide through because all of you are medium-sized creatures. Uh, okay. Thankfully, Bright Eye does look like she would be able to... It'll be a tight squeeze, but she should be able to get through without any difficulty. If she were a large creature, you'd have to leave her behind. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask... Bright eyes to stay up with Ebron just to guard the entrance so we don't get um, attacked from behind. She kind of tilts her head quizzically, but sits down, just laying down, just. <laughs> and Ebron's I like, her head. Oh, <laughs> I, don't worry, I'll keep an eye on her. No worries, man. Gives you a thumbs up, Ebron. I, I pat her on the head and I say, You do not like tight spaces, and I do not know how small the room will be when we get down there. She shifts her wings and kind of looks down there, very uncomfortable, just... Don't worry, we'll keep him safe. Lays her head down on her paws, just staring at you with very intelligent eyes. Knowing eyes. They're just kind of like a little slight nod of just... <laughs> the classic, you better. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you guys slide your way in. Uh, the light from the shield is definitely very helpful and very needed, as this place is otherwise completely pitch dark. Beam! <laughs> you are illuminating this area quite well. 
making it your way down. Uh, the area appears to be... The only way you can explain it is essentially this is the underground library section, which appears to have been long since either abandoned, looted, or otherwise forgotten, as the shelves are left with but a few dusty, somewhat rotting novels that are on the shelves, which likely were sacred scripts at one point, but were not able to be preserved over time. Uh, hmm. Yeah. There is a... Any, hmm? any books in reasonably good condition that I can read? Uh, make a perception check. Or an investigation check if you're going to quickly look them over. Why... Well, can't find the tab. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, investigation. Natural 20. Oh. As you're looking over these books, your foot almost feels like it falls down slightly as you step on one of the tiles, and you kind of quickly fall back onto your other leg to prevent yourself from falling down as you realize that one of the tiles is cracked. Uh, kneeling down, you slowly move the pieces away, and see a pristine scroll that was hidden underneath one of the tiles. Do I know what the scroll is? Yes. One second here. Uh, the scroll appears to be an ancient spell book with... Pull this up here. Uh, which, if you unroll it to look over, it has four spells in it. type these into here so you can make sure you can look at them later. Mm -hmm. It has those four spells that have been written into it that are still not only legible but in practically perfect condition. I can use them. Yeah, I was going to just put it in my bag. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, oh, beyond that there are two exits. Uh, one that leads uh, more towards where you'd seen, uh, approximately more towards where you'd seen the castle area, and one that leads more towards in towards the middle of the city. Can I tell if I hear anything specific from either direction? I do not want to lock that, stop that. Roll a perception check. Oh, fucking damn it. Uh, 18. It, yeah, uh, 18 is still more than enough to. Uh, as you're listening, you hear a, a very soft singing coming from one of the tunnels. Don, you don't understand. I just wasted a nat 20. <laughs> I mean, if uh, Arcus was I helping, it would have been a nat 20. I'd have allowed that. <laughs> you know, for some reason, I forgot about the dragon that's draped across my neck. I didn't. Um, <laughs> I didn't. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to head down that fucking tunnel. Okay. All right, you're going down... Right uh, yourself. You see Ixie is not moving, reading the book. Of course. <laughs> She's gonna, like, knock the wall near his head with her staff. Someone's singing down this tunnel. It's yeah, I, do it's like, I do like the one hand closed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, so just shut up! <laughs> and I'm, I'm I, like, uh, shut down the light. Okay and uh, sneak up to the tunnel to see if I can see who is singing. You can't. It's further down the tunnel. Uh, okay. I'm going to head down the tunnel. Okay. And just have like my staff at the ready. Okay. Staff firebolt ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I will actually sneak. All right. Roll just stealth. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, currently stealth disadvantage because you are still wearing half plate. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's why. That's true. <laughs> Ixius is just levitating off the ground almost, just like, you can't hear me. Nope. Yep. Still a fair self. Yep. Still pretty good. <laughs> I can only enchant so fast. Yeah, I can only enchant so fast. Yeah, it, it takes its time, I know. So you're 
basically just he not hearing Ixius at all. You're, you're pretty sure he's still reading from his book. He's gotta be. That's that's exactly what it is. You glance back <laughs> and you're just like, oh yeah, no, he's with us. Okay, <sighs> okay. Um, Naivara, she's she's pretty stealthy. She's doing it. You're just like, clink, clink. Oh, come on, son of a, clink, clink, come on, clink, clink. You're like this, this armor is just not great for stealth. But I'm I'm doing my bit. I got this. I I got this. Whew. As you get to an area further down, uh, you realize that it does open up into a. Uh, a big chamber which has a tiny bit of light coming from a ceiling port which reveals a chain uh, from that chain and basically in the center of this giant room uh, there is essentially a bird cage that is just hanging in the center of this area and Emmy would you like to describe what your character looks like please of course I would uh, my character <laughs> my character is a pretty average sized tiefling she seems tall enough but quite stocky but you wouldn't really be able to tell that with the big ass poofy dress that she's wearing right now uh, she doesn't seem bothered by the condition that she's in right now and yeah about it. <laughs> she, and she is the one who has currently been singing uh, uh, they did not take your flute, by the way, so you can play that as well. But right now, I said singing just, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, she's singing. She's singing yeah. a nice old tune. Of course. I'll send Arcus up there. Okay. Uh, see invisibly, what the hell. Invisibly or visibly? Uh, does she give off an air of being hostile? She is sitting in a poofy dress singing a very happy tune. Okay, yeah, no, he's, he's visible. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Emmy, uh, your character, as you're singing this little tune, all of a sudden you hear a little clink. As you see this yellow head poke through the bars, just looking at you, just like. Ah. All right, I'll look over and be like, Hi, who are you? And, you know, start petting its little nose. Nuzzles into your hand. What a cutie. What, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right, I can't speak through him yet. God damn it. It, it turns its head and. Uh, it, it says something in a very it's it's like a very sing-songy voice but you, you you have no idea what it's saying but at the same time um, are you looking through his eyes and ears at the moment no I just sent him up there yeah so you just hear you just hear Arcus all of a sudden you know uh, speaking it's not like echoing but it's like uh, kind of like that is he saying something he might be saying something not sure does she know what he's saying and she just kind of looks like you're cute <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he, he kind of says something, he kind of looks at you, realizes you don't speak, he goes, kind of scampers around through the bars, kind of like looks around. He's he's tiny, so he just kind of flips right up through the bars into it and just kind of looks around. Hmm. Will... What's this cage hanging by? A chain. Yeah, let's go see if we can get the cage down. How far would the drop be? I'd say about a good... Well... Right now, it is hovering over a pit, mm. and you oh! can't see the bottom. Oh, Let's no. not bring the cage down. Yeah! Let's figure out another <laughs> way to get her out of there. Uh... Also, um, uh, Emmy, uh, your yes. character does hear um, Zadim enter. She is the, he is the yeah. only oh. one that she hears. Your passive perception <laughs> would be able to hear. Is it dark in there? Hmm? Is it dark? It's dark. And he is currently beyond 60 feet of dark vision. So you just hear someone kind of going clink, 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 That's all I hear? Yes. But we can hear the, but we can see You know what? I feel like. Because of the light from above, yes. I'm too focused on the, uh, the cute little buddy that just walked into my cage. Uh, I'm probably right now chasing him around and trying to pet him. I mean, to be fair, he's, it's not very far to chase him. It's fairly No, close, I, I could but, just scoop down. All right. Yes, cool. but and he and he's more than uh, like when he realizes you want to pet him, he's just like. And jumps how into high arms. up is this cage? Uh, at this current moment, I'd say about eighty feet. All right, I'm gonna go over to the chain and test it, see how sturdily it is uh, adhered to whatever it is adhered to. You mean the one up above you, against yeah. the, the cage, the one that's eighty feet above you? Well, you said the chain was 
on the cage, but it has to be tied down to something for it to be suspended, right? Yeah, up and through the skylight. And then, oh, it's not coming down to be like yeah. tied on. It's a hanging wall. from it's the ceiling hanging from above. Yeah, it's not, and, and I said there's a skylight that is coming down through. Mm, okay. Got is it. there hmm? any way I could see that could bring the cage over, out from over the fucking pit? Looking around, yeah, there's not a whole lot. You do notice that there's a, few, a set of stairs off on the side that look like they can get up to a, probably within, you know, a distance of the cage. Uh, they don't go all the way up to the ceiling, but they do go up and wrap around the sides of the walls. Hmm. I'm going to go so, back up. Go for it. Go ahead. Grab- right eyes because this seems like a situation where having some aerial uh, support might be appreciated. Okay. And, she uh, and I will ridden? also grab Ebrin. Well, I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but I'll also grab Ebrin while I'm up there and explain the situation on our way down. The, just in a cage. Just up up there. I, up. I know. I did not expect to see this either, but here we are. That's, I mean, there, that's, that's like, While they're gone, is there a lock on the cage? Yes. That I can see. That you can see? Um, make a perception check. Uh, yeah, damn. See it. <laughs> all what is that. with you? Alright. Oz gave you guys the natural 20 luck. She oh. gave you the natural 20 blessing, remember? I, I, that's, oh, it's God bless. That's three, that's three in a row. I get the lucky yeah. beat out of tradition. <laughs> You that's, wish it was that easy. that's not how that works, he but got okay. The <laughs> he got, he definitely got the blessing. <laughs> if it was yeah, that you, easy, you can no. easily see. You're like locking the door. I see it. Got it. Okay. Let's see. What can I do? Okay. Uh, well, that's you're... 120 feet. Oh, I want a magic missile to lock. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, Emmy, you are you're playing with this this tiny little this little very beautiful yellow little dragon. Uh, yes, of course. Who is nuzzling uh, into your arms, yeah. very happy, and all of a sudden you just hear doosh, 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 and you're like Yeep! as you grab hold of it as uh, suddenly three glowing darts just suddenly come out of the darkness and just boom, 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 right into it. Roll the damage on that, by the way. As he's doing this, I see he's doing it, and I just shake my head and I motion for Bright Eyes to follow me up the stairs. Well, either way, you gotta get the lock open. I know, I know. Uh, where is magic missile on this? Oh, whatever. I'll just do it like this. You see a voice from my. Don't worry, he's not aiming at you. Jack, jeez. Oh, that's plus two for all of them, I think. Why? Uh, because that's just magic missile. Why won't it go? Right. I don't know why. It won't post. Is it? Asking it's... you what spell, what level you want to cast it at? No, it's not even doing that. Uh, do the downside. It's one d four plus one on each dart. Ah, I gotcha. So that's two, so. two, and three. Yeah. So that's actually seven points of damage. Okay. Uh, it the. It, it's not quite enough to throw the cage about, but it definitely is rattled. Can and I... it is okay. shaking the chain. So this is just the whole thing is just rocking in place, not violently, but enough that your your character can definitely feel it. I mean, is the lock uh, not broken? No. So uh, she's I'm gonna hear. Probably gonna yelp. <laughs> she's she's gonna hear this voice. Move to the left just a little bit. Move to the left. Um, oh. I'm going to Elder's bless fucking lock. Oh god. What's oh god. Thing? Okay. Yeah. Um. I won't cast guidance on her before she does it. I, uh, <laughs> That's for I don't know checks. what's going on, but okay. And then she'll <laughs> step a little bit to the left. She's holding on to the bars with a little uh, what was little it? A dragon? dragon? Little prison little dragon. dragon. Little all right. Little little dragon in her hands, and she's trying to calm down the dragon. The, even the dragon the is dragon completely fine. What the? F- the uh, well, the dra- she's trying to calm it down anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's trying to calm it down for her own sanity. Uh, exactly. That, that will hit. Okay as 15 po- points of force damage so that you just basically see a, a very beautiful beam of like you like you, you swear you can see sunshine glittering off it as it 
what? punches through the lock and pushes the entirety of the cage back 10 feet and currently you are now swinging <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually I can pick whether I can pick whether or not it does that oh can you pick that can yeah you? yeah I thought that was just a thing that just happened no you can pick whether it happens or not well am I swinging Fair enough. Then, no right, <laughs> I mean, to be fair that would have been more uh, cinematic but you know if you're not swinging Hell you're not swinging no okay. and then now my scream does nothing <laughs> I okay, just screamed I, I think I got it fixed okay as far as I know, because you could have Eldritch Blast have the push effect as well, so you'd have to pick between the two. Or not push, pull. That That is a valid and fair point. Alright, <laughs> well, not swinging. It's a good thing. Rattled a little bit, but especially with you. It, it's still got the whole little, I'm like, the whole thing is very rattling. Scared. I'm very scared. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so once I get closer to the cage, I'm getting to the top of the stairs. Do I see anything else? Uh, getting closer to the cage, uh, you see a uh, what appears to be a box. In the cage? Not in the cage. Um, next to the cage. Not next to the cage. Uh, next to one of the walls. Where essentially... Hmm? Like, uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you open the box, is what I was about to ask. Uh, <laughs> I will check it for traps. Investigation. I'll take deck 16. Yeah. Good thing you don't have disadvantage on that. <laughs> you're just like, oh no. And you're just like, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, good, okay, good, good, good. Wipe the sweat off your brow. Yep. And uh, you see that it is certainly not trapped. Cool. Uh, it will... is locked. Okay. Um, what? None of us are good at picking locks, though, are we? No. Nope. Um,. What would I have to roll to try and unlock it? Uh, it'd have to be a sleight of hand with disadvantage because you do not have tools to do it. So you're basically trying to finagle your way into doing this. I mean, there's other ways to do it. Absolutely, there's other ways to do it. But if you're trying to actually pick the lock, that's what you would have to roll. Just am break I able, it. Yeah, am, be, am I able all the cast never really. spell out of that spell book that I haven't copied yet? No. Okay. Being a person who is not trained in the ways of lock picking, what are the other ways that I could do this to get the box open? Boy, would you, what would you like to? How would you like to try this? Throw it on the ground. Well, I would like to probably just pry the lock open, and I do have a few daggers I could use. Okay, uh, make a. Mm. Make a. Ooh. This is. Are really you're trying to. You're trying to strength. just pop it open by. Pop, it's going to be a high DC, but you can attempt a straight athletics check. Can Can I give him guidance? You're currently down on the bottom area at the moment. You fire. Oh, I thought he was with us. No, okay, he he yeah. moved up the side of the uh, stairway with Bright Eye to uh, try and get a better view. Right now, he's currently parallel with the cage, and he found a box. Does that mean I can see him? If I yes. if I oh. fail the check to pry it open, will it make it harder to try and pick the lock? No. All right, I'm going to try and pry it open first. Okay, athletic check. Uh, well, while nope. he's doing this... That's fine. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage, I'll, I'll... slide a hand, I guess. Right, while he's doing this, you'll what? Uh, I am looking at him and going, Oh, hi! Wow, it's been a while since I've had visitors. <gasps> Who's your friend? And, of course, she's cooing the, over. The big, uh, big griffin who's looking at yes. you just like... like the, you know the looking at an eagle straight, straight on? Mm -hmm. It is doing the head tilt and looking very funny as it does so. Oh, I forget that griffins have ears as well. Oh, my mm. cutie! Oh! So, is the door open or no? Uh, it is no longer locked because the lock is no longer on there. Technically, she can open the door. Uh, I wouldn't. Th yeah, that's completely up to her. Uh, with an 11, no. You, you... All right, I'm, I'm going to keep back and forth I... strength checking and... Uh, Can I head up to see what the fuck Zadim is doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go up too. Okay, so you uh, you both come up and you come more what towards the where the uh, the light is able to illuminate you enough that she can see you uh, with your <laughs> athletic. What the fuck are you oh, doing wow, up here? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep at it. You break your tools, it. so you no longer have oh. tools with which to try and. Uh, so do wait, I have, to decide, which, I have to decide which knife I was using now. What yeah. kind of lock is this? It's a standard padlock, which currently has the blade of a dagger 
stuck in it. It looks Zadim. like you can no longer try oh, and wait, wait, do wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. I could have hmm? just tried to use it with, um, with an arrow, because I have yeah. plenty of those. Oh, an Zadim. arrow ahead, so then. Move out, move out the way. I will down one arrow. Gotcha. So I don't eat, lose any of my knives, because those are harder to replace. That's She's going to just, like, back Zadim over. Very well. I will wave at the lady in the cage. Yeah, we back. <laughs> yeah, that that so will we're, that will we're hit and blow her. Okay, we're <laughs> parallel with her. I, How I, far away is she now? Uh, she is still, I'd say about sixty feet away. Okay, no, so what the can... fuck is in this thing? <laughs> um, that's locked. A hooked pole that looks like you have to assemble it. Oh, I will assemble the pole. Okay, uh, it looks like assemble it, the it, pole. It is. <laughs> it has a few um parts on it that look like you have to have other people assisting to okay. you know not have it just fall off uh, mm -hmm. but with that you would be able to use it to hook onto the cage to drag it from one side to another oh so we got a fishing uh, pole yes yeah, let's give that a give that a try okay uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and move that process along we're not going to make it so you know it's going to take forever just to get this mm -hmm. cage since you clearly have the pole now which I'm also very glad that you decided to take the um, <laughs> the uh, the Casper way of doing it. What is the Casper way? You oh, the silent way? No, no, no. The, remember your uh, when I played the uh, profane soul blood hunter, and it's just like there's a locked drawer. I go to the side of it oh, and yeah. blow the lock off. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I wasn't. Look, we have no these tools, and they're padlocks. And I'm assuming Eldritch Blast with enough damage vaporizes things. So yeah, it, it basically is like getting hit with a force blast, but in this case, you basically forced the metal of it to be ripped off of the wood enough that it was no longer able to hold it to both pieces. Oh, why didn't you just bust the fucking thing? <laughs> I mean, what? he could have. <laughs> Nothing was stopping him, but he was trying. He was trying to be, you know, I can do this. I can. And there goes that arrowhead. <laughs> so you. To be fair, I have no ways of doing this like you do. You gotta beat it with the sword. That. That sounds like you destroy it. <laughs> I do have one spare sword. <laughs> I'm smashing, coming up the steps, like rewind, come up the steps, and Eve is like now hitting at this fucking wooden chest <laughs> with his sword, just hacking at it. Uh, but yeah, you. Anyway, can we get her out, please? Yes, mm -hmm. you, 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 uh, you do drag her over, and uh, I will say that um, uh, for your first she falls roll, eighty feet. Uh, roll a athletics check. I give right. her guidance. Who? You, who? You. Me. You. Oh, to jump me. out. You gotta, you gotta wow. jump. Gotta jump <laughs> out. Remember, I gave you guidance. Aesthetic. Athletics. You said. Athletics. Yes. Navarro is standing what? nearby to me. Yeah, <laughs> to catch, just in case. Uh, roll wait, wait, plus four? Oh, yeah. Plus Maybe? one d4. One d... what? You roll one one, another one d4 for okay, the guidance. Okay, so, M, you see how it says, like, Temptations of I'd say on the screen, right? You see that that little bar that should be on the top left? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I see the dice. Is that where I just roll it? Uh, yeah, if you hover, hover over the over. dice, and it'll bring up, like, a menu, and then click the d4. Oh, wow! There you go. That is actually what you needed to make sure that you did not fall out of there. So you you jump. You're like, oh no, oh no. But you hear the guy's words just, just, just jump. Oh yeah, you're right. You should just jump. And you you manage to find your footing. You're like, yay. And little little Arcus is still now uh, wrapped around your shoulders, just looking up at Never. I just like, and in uh, a very, you know, wispy, willowy sound of Sylvan just kind of whispers, I made a friend. You always make friends. <laughs> Uh, who is the closest person to me right now? Probably me. I had to cast guidance on you. All right, so I'm gonna hug the shit out of you right now. It um, seems like Exeus is my friend as well. Indeed. He has like that anime, like don't know what to do. Like <laughs> body posture. Just, <laughs> like Ghibli style bristling. Right. Oh my god. Uh, so, I look at the uh, others. <laughs> No, I'm all just shrugs. Thank you, thank you. I've been wanting to get out of there for so long. Let me out. Ixius can see this, like, so crowded. Growing smile on Ivar's face. Crowded, and it's 
kind of scary. I was getting really lonely. What are you guys doing here? It's a very long story. I like what stories. Oh, dear. What are you doing in the cage, sweetheart? Uh, I was locked in here by a weird guy who's like it... a skeleton man. I, I tried making friends with him. He, he just seems... sent me <laughs> It seems the Lord wanted a songbird. Kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 You're rather Just, fancy job. I'm gonna Half of these start stories. tearing up. <laughs> oh. hmm? Arcus tearing up while still clutched on Ixius. Ixius, yep. exactly. She Sorry. hasn't let go yet. She definitely. Uh, he's, he's doing the awkward back pat now. Pat. No, pat. just sends Arcus to help since Ixius seems. Arcus. Right <laughs> Arcus is on her shoulders, just looking at Naivara, just like shrugging. Cuddle her. Kind of like looks at her, looks back at you, like it makes like a I am. Oh yeah, he never really left, did he? Oh, that's nope. right, he never came off her. Nope, but I, she's still hiding. I turn to right. Bright Eyes and I go tell her to go over and distract her a little bit. Uh, so this <laughs> this big old like griffin just like done. moves up slowly, just moves up very near to you and just kind of makes a little thump as it pokes your its beak against your arm. Uh, I look down and immediately I let go of Ixius like, <gasps> oh, it's you! And I lean down to it, good pat hugs. It, it looks over to, uh, to Zadine just kind of like, I don't know. I give the okay, I give the okay symbol. <laughs> I'll walk back to the others. Oh it's goodness. just like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Ebrin's just looking at all this just like, I mean, cool. You're not a very social person, are you? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like staring at Ixius. I'll walk over to this young lady because I have no idea what the heck her name is, and I'll I'll extend my hand to uh, pull her to her feet and ask. Uh, we should probably introduce ourselves. I am Zadim. These are my companions. Please introduce yourselves. She's gonna hug you soon. Yes. I'm Navarro. <laughs> I'm Ixius. Uh, uh, hi, hey, uh, I'm Ebrin. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So I stand up on my feet with Zidane's help, and I say, "Oh, it's so nice to meet you all. I I'm Demea." It's very nice to meet you, Demea. I am. Um... Sorry, it is not under better circumstances or in a better locale. Oh, it's it's okay. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, new friends. True. This is true. Yeah. Of course. Guess what? I'm gonna hug you. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, just for everyone else's sake, I'm actually going to now show off your lovely artwork so that everyone can see. Oh what? Yeah, I'm, oh, wow. I'm, show, I'm showing all the peoples uh, what Demea looks like. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah. I put, as for her note, Demea found in the cage in the zombie city. Sorry, what? Accurate. <laughs> That's your notes right now. <laughs> found in a cage inside of the zombie city. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not inaccurate. Um, she also appears so... to have a lot of freckles on her face. Interesting. Also very affectionate as she's hugging Zidim very tightly right now, like she was with. I will pat her back a lot more sociably than Ixius did. <laughs> uh, I I am enjoying this. I am very much. In so, uh, how exactly you you mentioned that a half skeletal man placed you in this cage? Oh yeah. So like my family. They were like, oh, you can't be with us anymore. I was like, what? And then they sent me away with some guards. They brought me here. And I was like, oh, maybe it won't be too bad. And I tried, I tried getting to know Mr. Skeleton Man. But he was really mean and didn't want to hear anything I had to say. So they just threw me in here. Well, that was very rude of him. It really was rude. But, you know, I mean, I guess maybe he was having a bad day. I have a feeling he has had many bad days based on his appearance, but that is another story. Maybe. 
But maybe we can make her feel better. Perhaps. In any case, would you care to continue this conversation as we make our way out of here? Sure! Sure! Goodness, I'd love to get out of this room. Dark and... The cage was crowded and scary. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll make our way back through the entrance to this cavern that we came through. Yep, okay. So you, uh, you lead her out, making sure you guys are very safe as you do so. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys head back to the other area. Do you peek down the other hallway, or do you just head right on up? No, I'll, I'll give a little peek. I'll try and stealth just to be on the safe side, which is going to go great, but you never know. Go ahead. <laughs> yep. I mean, it feels very safe. You feel very comfortable just kind of going clang, 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 clang as you just uh -huh. kind of walk down. <laughs> Shield's still uh, out. Of course. Um, hilt still out, but no light this time. Okay. Uh, with your dark vision, it's very uh, dark grays. So it's like walking. It's kind of like uh, when you watch one of those uh, night vision uh, movies or video games where like everything's completely dark around you, but because you have night vision on, you can see a distance out. That's mm -hmm. the way I always imagined uh, dark vision in areas like this would be considered. Mm, fair enough. Uh, but instead of being greens, it's more grays. Right. Uh, I can see Zadim doing this, right? Uh, he, he, you saw him go down that way. All crouched down, stealthing and shit? I mean, I wouldn't say very crouching <laughs> with a five. Okay. Ah, uh, uh. stupid armor. So he's just walking normally. He's not really stealthing. Yes. That All was right, a nat 20. God damn it. But what do I see, Guru? Uh, making your way down, you see that part of the area has been collapsed in. Uh, there is a little area that you can kind of just wiggle your way through. Uh, which I'll the... peer through first, just oh, to see what I see. Uh, roll a perception check real quick. Oh, that's not disadvantage, but no, okay. 17 still. Uh, 17 still more than good enough for you to quickly just kind of pull some of the rocks and stones just out of the way so you can uh, peek down trying to see if you can see anything else through it uh, this area would not be big enough for bright eyes to slip through mm -hmm. maybe you guys could slither through but not with uh, too much freedom of movement uh, in the distance you can kind of see what appears to be a fountain and there looks like there might be someone down there it might be another ghoul but there's someone standing in front of it, just kind of staring at the water. Hmm. Based on what I know, the architecture of this place, where would this tunnel be nearby to you, like above or below or around? Uh, it is near an area that you passed by. Uh, you guys had kind of made a, an arc around to avoid, you know, the zombies and such that you passed, which despite, you know, less than superior or stellar stealth checks, you guys were able to avoid any of them from attacking you. Uh, but mm -hmm. there was an area that came away from the uh, temple area, which, if you had to guess, it might be like in one of the market squares. Hmm. There's not a whole lot of light in this area, so it's probably not one near any of the uh, cracks in the ceiling but then again this is also underground yeah so that would make sense that there's no cracks in the ground to this area okay um what I miss uh, he is currently uh, investigating uh, the other tunnel notice that there's a fountain with someone in front of it in an area that looks like it's underneath the marketplace uh, <clears throat> I'm going to move besides the demon just say what you doing <laughs> I will turn to her and put my uh, finger to my lips and say, shh, I'm oh, trying oh, to sorry. see what is the this tunnel to judge whether or not we should spend time investigating or go after the person who put you in that cage. Investigating. Sounds like fun, guys. You can... may see that you may not approach. You do not appear to be very well armored, and I do not want anything to happen to you. Okay, okay. 
so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a good look at what, what the fuck uh, is I'm happening. I'm back, sorry. I roll a perception Welcome check. Back. Welcome back. Uh, Dog me? Perception check? Yes, you. Mm -hmm. Okay. what I miss? Uh, Zadim it went down a pathway to check out what the other one had to offer, and yeah. while looking at the uh, backside of a figure who was standing in front of a fountain, uh, our lovely little uh, Demea decided to walk up and say, What you doing? And be very unstealthy about it, because she didn't know any better. And as she's currently peeking over to see if there's anything she can see, she's like doing a little peeking over the rocks, trying to trying to get a better look, because uh, Zadim is quite a large boy, and he's very easily able to see over it. You kind of have to get on your tippy toes to see over this mound of rocks and dirt. Uh, you barely see the tail end. It looks like someone walking down another tunnel in the distance. Uh, you can't really get a good look at them. You're you're struggling to stay on your toes to see it, but Wait. They're, 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 they're leaving. Did they, did they go down alone? Nope, those two are went... Yeah, those two went down alone. You guys were in the uh, the book area at the moment. All right. Why didn't you just ask to send Arcus down that way? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Turn to his demon and say, Oh, I saw one! Oh, I mean, I saw someone! <sighs> yes, as did I. We should go back to the group and tell them what we saw. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, boy. We'll make our way back. Okay. Uh, so you guys make your way back with um, Demea kind of, kind of looking obviously very peppy and like excited, and I imagine Zadine is just, like, just trying not to rub his eyes. I just imagine like this giant. My eyes. I just imagine like this six eight giant man with this tiny ass tiefling skipping beside him. She's not super tiny. She's like a head smaller than him. Yeah, she's like five foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, that was surprising. <laughs> what? <laughs> she say average build, and then she's. <laughs> you know that well, is pretty average. average. That, that is the average height like... for a woman. Yes, <laughs> average. Five nine, so I'm a little bit taller. Yeah. Uh, for tieflings, they start you at like four eleven. Yeah, no, four nine. Four ten. One of those two. But yeah, she, she rolled for height and she got 5'8. Or not 5'8, five 5'7. Five <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's not average! That's pretty average. That is pretty average. For a tiefling? Big yes. and chumby. Jesus fucking Christ! So cute. All chumby. of you are fucking heightists! <laughs> <laughs> so I will tell everybody what we saw and I'll ask. Um. Do you think we should pursue them down this tunnel, or do we want to deal with the rather angry gentleman with the half-dead face first? Well, Maybe we can be friends with them! Well, this tunnel's secret for a reason. It can't hurt to investigate what you- Because why are there more people down here? Hmm, true. Yay, uh, we can make more friends! I guess we go back down the tunnel. Okay. I'm gonna set Arcus about 60 feet ahead of me at all times, invisible. Okay. Uh, Eberyn stays near you so you can grab hold of his shoulder if you're looking through his eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. I, no worries, I gotcha. Just we should to probably see stealth again. Navar just like grabbing his hair and not his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs him by the beard. Not the beard, not the beard, not the beard. You can't hear me, I know this, but I'm going to... I'm very close to just grabbing you, your, your face and just saying no. But no, I'll, I'll, I'll allow this. I'll, I'm okay with this. If I'm blind, I mean, that six makes sense. And my dog just ripped drool on my keyboard. Ah, uh, good. Ah, uh, yes, good. <laughs> As we expect. Are we going rolling for stealth? Uh, only if you want to. Okay, uh, Demea's not gonna stealth. <laughs> She's being great, oh, obviously, no. her approach. I still got better. Wow, we're kinda, uh, sucking here on stealth. The one who's not stealthing is just looking at you guys, and you guys are just, like, like, stepping around, like, Okay, okay, you're just, you To be fair, I've rocks. been rolling really well for stealth, but I keep having to take the disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, while everyone else is trying to stealth, uh, I'm like, What are you guys trying to do? Why are you walking funny? <laughs> It is a long story. <laughs> Quiet the team in his brain. I like stories. You can tell me a story. I know I'm a good listener. To be quiet right now because we okay, don't okay. know if the person we saw means us harm or not. Oh. 
You can tell me the story quietly. <laughs> Maybe later. We, we'll we'll okay. tell you when we get out of here. Okay, okay. That sounds good. Because right now, everything in here wants to kill us. Oh, what? That... Oh. <laughs> They're Why already dead. Why would you dead. say that, Mom? Shh. Later. Oh. Eh, yes. Later. We need She's going to get quiet. us killed if she just walks up to a person. Well, I'm gonna uh, die. Navarre just like looks up, but she can't disagree, so it's like that fucking constricting face of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah I but the same time, there are and now, ways that now I am very scared. <laughs> right. There are better ways you could have put that, Ixias, and you know it. What is Arcus see? Uh, Arcus sees the partly collapsed tunnel ahead of you. Um. Uh, is he see the person yet? You said that uh, it was, he's, he, he's uh, being kept 60 feet, so he just kind of scuttles up through the dirt over the edge and just immediately keeps going. And you're just like, oh, Marcus, no. And he's just like, no, shiny. Ah, no, I kept him within range of telepathy. Yeah. Telepathy. Mm -hmm. Telepathy for a reason. So if he's just like, <laughs> he's, he's it, it's like, pretty much. It's not shiny. It's, I'm just looking. You told me to look. <laughs> just, I know you. You like things. He's looking around. I don't see them. Should I get in for a closer look? No. But, but, uh, there's a water over there. Did he say there's a water? Is that what I just heard? <laughs> yes. Single water. God damn it. <laughs> he just hears like this defeated noise and then he just feels like the telepathy just like, as in like a go ahead. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> flies over towards it. Uh, he does go out of the 60 feet for it. Uh, yep. Because at a certain point, you will hit the wall. Um, Bang! <laughs> well, you don't hit it. Ebron keeps you from doing that. Uh, you guys can climb over if you wish. Uh, while that's going on, uh, very carefully, Arcus lands on the edge of the fountain, which the, the fountain has some broken off portions to it. Uh, not enough that the water would spill out out in mass, but it is basically just like riding the edge of it. But it's still rolling water. Okay, so I can still talk, just not here, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Navarre's so. gonna... Let me check. No, you can talk. You just can't feel or hear. Hold on. Well, you can speak out loud. You can't, you know, they, you can't hear what they say. If you're talking about to Arcus... Just wait. Uh, no, I was talking... I want to say something to everyone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can just say it out loud. And Arcus Have also seen... is within 100 feet, not 60. Oh. Yeah, so he's still but within he's still telepathy. Range. No, he's, he's, oh, he's within 100. Hearing? Oh, he's, he's within telepathic oh. range. You are, it, It's only about 80 feet to the fountain. I'm pretty much just asking Everett since I saw the collapse thing. Mm -hmm. Just pretty much feeling his face like, okay, I'm sorry, but can you just fucking carry me? You're strong. Everett kind of looks at everyone, looks at the thing, he's just like, I have to slide her through. I don't. I, she's gonna get dirty. Do you think she's gonna be mad at me, guys? I hope she's not. I mad will at me. catch her on the other side. She's still gonna get dirty. She's gonna hate I me. Know. I'm gonna ruin her fashion. I'm gonna get it all dirty. But I, 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 I you just get, go to the other side and I'll she slide her through. Wait, time. so we have to climb I over? Know. Yes. She has no clean, but I can clean her play. stuff. Mm. Okay. Be fine. Uh, can someone carry me? <laughs> I like to be carried. <laughs> <laughs> Is that vocal enough for Arcus to hear? <laughs> uh, very faintly. Uh, he kind of looks back, just kind of like, not my problem. <laughs> uh, he does peek into the fountain. Uh, if you tell him not to, he's like, but I'm, it's water. Let me look at the water, Can I, please. But he'll, he's going to look it. into it. See what happens. He kind of gets down close with a little claw and boop ripples across the water. <gasps> Why do you make a noise? Because something comes out of the water. <laughs> Is the tunnel actually wide enough where we're going through the pile of rocks that someone would be able to carry someone else? With some difficulty, it basically would be like moving through difficult terrain, but you could. It would just be a tight squeeze. By oh, yeah. bridal style? I'll, I'll help them. Bridal style would no. Like, it would be more like you're dragging them through. You could not bridal style through it. 
Yeah, oh, okay. you're, being, you're being drugged through this rock path. Yeah. Because we we can't put you on our back. No. I just want over the collapsed area and then just set me down. Right. Because I do not trust myself to, like, face plant. <laughs> yeah, I think we all help her. Okay, so you, got, you guys help her and then uh, you help... I'm, well, Ebron is like, I mean, I, we can help you, Miss... Miss, Miss Demaya, but it's going to be kind of like what we just did. So it's not going to be, you know... You'll be cleaner if you just do it yourself. You'll I be mean, cleaner. Maybe, uh, kind of. But I'm scared. We will be here. I'll give her uh, guidance to help her. Navarra's going to call Arcus back since something came out of the water. Um, is she... I imagine that you, you want to do that, but before you do that, uh, the thing that comes out of the water is a essentially looks like a water I'm not sure exactly how to describe it think of like a water dragon almost but it's made completely of water for one it has two water tendril like whiskers and the water has formed across its back like uh, watery spines which Technically, are completely benign and useless, but they're aesthetic. Can we? Out see of character. This? Out of character. What I know. What, um, or out of character, I know what this is. But in character, would I be able to tell? Knowledge Arcana. Yep, you've heard of these things. They're called water weirds. Uh, they're I, like, generally. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. They're considered elemental guardians of, well, the element of water. Uh, generally bound to specific water-filled locations, like uh, in this case, a fountain. Uh, while they're emerged in water, they are clear and only emerging when it's pulling out of the water, which it doesn't attack Arcus. It only seems to be observing him. But it does come out of the water and make its presence known. Okay. Serving him? Oh, you mean Observing. surveying? Observing. Oh, okay. Hmm. Like, just, like it's moving, <laughs> like it's moving its head back and forth, just keeping an eye on him. Ixius? Uh. I will put away my sword hilt. <laughs> and after helping Naivara and Demea through the opening, I will approach the fountain's uh, slowly and non-threateningly. Navarra's gonna, like, hold on to his shoulder. Okay. He speaks their language. Let him go first. Demea is gonna run towards it. Can I grapple I her grab real her. quick? <laughs> I'd, I'd imagine... Would you contest them trying to hold you back from running? Um... I mean... I'll say something like, wait, wait, can I see it? It's so cute! We don't know if it's hostile or not, and you running up to it might make it angry. But you don't want to make it friendly. angry, right? No. Everything can seem stay here. at first. Okay. It is when you irk it that it becomes unfriendly. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> just, just stay by us, sweetheart, okay? Okay. Ixius. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll walk towards it with my hands uh, up. Hold on, wait, it. who's closest to me in that moment? Because I'm hold grabbing on. onto anyone who's closest. Now I guess Naivara and Zadim. Alright, well, I guess she'll grab onto Zadim. <laughs> grab her whole body around his arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you approach this serpentine form that is... is, is like, it's that... Um, is that rippling effect you see in digital movies where like that there's that water creature that has just the ripples that form its face and body that just it's quite nice to look at but there's no light so it looks a lot more menacing than it might be considering the fact that it's not attacking the tiny little prism wing right in front of it but it is certainly made its presence <laughs> quite well aware <laughs> I want in primordial I want to say greetings turns its head towards you, kind of like shifts, looking around, which, as soon as you get within 30 feet, its head turns towards you. Uh, doesn't say anything back, just seems to be looking at you curiously. May I ask why you're here? Turns its head. 
looks upward, looks down, slips back down to where most of its body is still in the water, but the head just kind of is sliding from side to side. <coughs> It doesn't say anything? Nope. I'll, I'll say again. Me and my friends only wish to pass. Would you allow this? Turns his head to the side. And you see the little uh, whiskery tendril like to curl around to do a, a kind of a familiar tapping the chin motion of a thought. <laughs> thought. Uh, not that kind of thought, you goof. <laughs> That's me, mm -hmm. not the just. I know. Uh, it then moves mo moves both of them in a kind of like a sliding towards the uh, <clears throat> a passage to the right, uh, in kind of like uh, a go ahead motion. I'll, I'll beckon everyone over. C can I say hi to the little cute creature first? <laughs> I teach her the primordial word for hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, for water elements to be like blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like that there you go I feel like it's saying hi but it's with the most atrocious accent so... this poor thing has ever heard <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna uh, walk over she's still not being careful nah, I'm not letting you get too close I'm like, don't get too oh. close this is what it looks like okay. by the way let me see. I gotta see. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Uh, I did not uh, get Matt, we've seen this before. So, uh, she'll walk uh, as general, far general as Ixius will allow. Um, just like that's right nothing next to me. All right. Um, and she'll say hi. And what was the language? Primordial. 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 Primordial but she's doing this. Uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 <laughs> Sounds more like bubbles. Blah, 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 like that? You need more tongue in. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. There you go. Okay. Blah, blah. <laughs> and she waves to it. <laughs> it. It turns its head just like it's trying to figure out what you're saying as it listens to you for a moment before it kind of realizes what you're doing. And it, like, it kind of, it's still motioning towards the other one, uh, the, the uh, door to the right. Uh, but one of the tendrils kind of curls a little bit and makes like a, a, a waving motion. Alright, he wants us to go down to the path. You have to say way. goodbye to the friend. Okay, how do you say goodbye in the language? It's like a child! <laughs> and, and, and then I'll just lead her. Like, I grab her hand or something and lead her as she's trying to wave at it. <laughs> Alright, I mean, she's she's not gonna. Or I'm Fine. not gonna. I'm not, not gonna resist. Of course. But I'll still be waving to it until I can't see it. <laughs> no, Bar's just gonna lean close to Zim Zadim like Did you guys ask how old she was? It is not polite to ask a lady her age. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to make sure we didn't find a child. You can ask her her age. You are right. a lady, it cancels it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, we go down the right path. Did we ever learn her le her name? Yes. Yes. Okay. Demea. Demea. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. No, I was. I don't think I was here when she did. You may have stepped away. Um, how old are you, sweetheart? Twenty three. I think. Nav it's been a while Navar's, Navar's eyes like actively widen while she looks at her. You know but that I think blink? I'm twenty three. You know that blink gif? Yeah, that's her right, right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's actually older than me. <laughs> actually, no. <laughs> Just curious. Okay, how old are you? How old are you? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. She's like uh, in her mid 20s, so I'm just gonna go with 25 and say fuck it. <laughs> oh, um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I would say like, I should make her in her 30s, but fuck it. So what does this right tunnel look like? It is covered with dwarven engravings. Mm -hmm. A whole slew of them. Uh, most of them just appear to be just like aesthetic. You know, drawing of a... Aesthetic. Old, of course. Mm -hmm. 
uh, of various dwarven uh, ideologies and such like that. Uh, the most prominent one being again that image that you saw on the altar of the uh, stone-faced figure with a chisel in a globe with a hammer raised overhead, the symbol of Seiya's. As well as uh, a few others where it like shows like splinters of the earth forming into the dwarves themselves. Uh, essentially it's giving you a religion class of the origin oh. of dwarves. And where it shows in one image that Seiya's uh, had his hand with the chisel into the world and from it he sculpted mountains and valleys the various stonework of the world and from the chips that came from it came the dwarves uh, which uh, they show it shows them you know building structures and things of, like that as they eventually you know met with various other races and uh, were the first to teach them uh, philosophy writing various things of knowledge and nature that they were aware of. Uh, essentially, the ideologies of this state that dwarves were the first race upon the world, and they were the ones who, from the knowledge of Seiya's, the stone founder, they then taught the world how to do pretty much everything the world currently knows. Uh, one of the, Some of the only things that they don't have are things that show that the various entities who were created by other gods, where it shows other gods show, uh, holding their hand towards their new creations and say as approving them, uh, that they brought with them various other things. Uh, speaking of which, towards the end of the tunnel, you actually see a stone platform with a what appears to be a staff with a, a yellow diamond that is very firmly inside of this, with uh, not wilted but very old thick vines that are burrowed in underneath part of this platform. I check for traps. Right Can I use detect magic? You may. Or virtual chaos. No, yeah, I'm gonna have to. We're talking about the staff, right? Yes. Yeah. I Can I walk check. up to it and just... No. No, <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take everything you ask like that as if you're saying it out loud at this point. <laughs> Because I was legit about to say, as soon as she sees the shiny, Navar's like, no. And just like grabbing off your. Oh, wow! There it is. There's my nat 20. I thought I took hey. all of this session. No. Nah. Right. The, the, the blessing was for everyone. Uh, with a natural 20, uh, what languages do you speak? Infernal, common, celestial, sylvan. You do see sylvan engraven into some of the wall uh, it's in like little thin strips uh, where it's kind of like uh, we're hiding this away which there are other languages uh, scattered about in there as well celestial infernal are not ones of them that you can see mm -hmm. but sylvan is uh, it's in the probably the thinnest strip that you can see on there mm -hmm. uh, where it says uh, essentially the it, phraseology of it is be polite the plants can be moody but they'll get you where you need to go. Up or down, ask, and they shall guide you. The plants can be moody. <laughs> huh. Um, quick out of character point of order. Mm -hmm. Bright Eyes was too small to fit down here, wasn't she? She was able to very arduously crawl through. Like, it, it took her probably a good minute to actually be able to squeeze through, but... She is covered in dust, and she just is shaking every now and then trying to get it out. I beg you okay. not to spread your wings. Uh, I'll use prestidigitation to get her everything out of her, her wings and feathers. I mean both. Of course. Okay, All the dirt so... and rocks are of gone from her. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do the same thing for myself. Should <laughs> I do a nature check? You want to help? Like I'm going to ritual cast identify on the staff. Yeah, okay. sure. I'll, I'll right. take the help. Okay. Uh, so you see uh, Ixia sit down and pull what? out his pearl to be in ritual casting it. All right. That noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we've been blessed with the natural 20, apparently. I'm going uh, to uh, quietly sit down next to Ixius and go, What you doing? 
<laughs> I mean, he can talk, so yeah, that it, he doesn't. Wait, he does need concentration. Oh shit! Ah. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 he's space. I can imagine he's just kind of ignoring her as he's focusing on yeah. the spell, and I, it will I, take I will... about ten minutes to do that. I will gently move her away because I have the distinct feeling that if she's ignored, she just becomes more persistent. <laughs> uh, uh, well, when she does that, I'll be like, what is he doing? I just wanted to know. He's e trying to concentrate on something. Everin leans down. I don't know what he's doing, but usually when he gets in that face, it's pretty important. Also, hi, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Everin. Did I introduce myself? I don't remember your name. Oh, hi. Wh how do you pronounce it? Ebrin. Ebrin. Hi, Ebrin. Uh, Demea. Can I uh, take his hands with both of mine and shake it? Yeah, he shakes back just as vigorously. He's like, D -d -d Demea, Demea. I am trying really hard not to touch it myself because there's a shiny diamond in it. <gasps> hey, it's so shiny. It's so Did shiny. Did I see I any traps over there? Just no. With your something. investigation of natural 20, you find no traps. Okay, okay. so uh, can wait, I just wait, 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 wait. it? Hmm? With the nature check, though, what do I get? Yeah. Which is what I was about to bring up. With the nature uh -huh. check, you see that while it looks like uh, roots and vines, there's almost like a patterning to it where it looks like it are zigzagging up the walls. Mm -hmm. And there are more vines than there are roots. Uh, most of which you've heard of a few areas that use this. Uh, it's referred to as a uh, a nature's ladder, Ooh. Uh, which is basically if you are able to commune with them, they can transport you from point A to point B. Hmm, that's cool. But they're kind of withered, you said, right? A little bit, yeah. They haven't been okay. used in a while, essentially. Fair enough. Um, with that natural twenty nature check, can I maybe commune with them? To commune with them, uh, you'd have to know how to. Okay. Uh, knowing what I know about nature's ladders, do I know how people generally commune with them? Generally, druids would speak with plants. Ah, I gotcha. I could have taken that spell, but I didn't. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's a level, one, uh, level that you can take. True. Right, so you just wait for Ixius to do anything in the meantime. I just realized something funny. Zadim hmm? hmm. is over there trying to figure out what the hell is up with these plants, checking traps and such. Mm -hmm. Ixius is over there casting Identify Magic. Mm -hmm. Navara is holding back both Demea and Ebrin from taking the shiny. Well, Demea is too distracted. <sighs> oh, thank God. Uh, I was about to say, I'm like, you put her on babysitting I, duty! <laughs> Since I have a ritual book, I would be able to tell eventually what he's doing, right? Uh, you could, yes. Uh, it, right. is, it is a spell that could go into your book. All right. she's, she's sitting beside him copying this spell down. Uh, she doesn't have the ink for it. Damn! Not right now. Um, but she's going to see this and go, Oh, he's doing a ritual! <gasps> guys, guys, and then she pulls out her own ritual book. Goes, I, I wrote down spells myself. You want to see? You want to see? Actually, yes. That's not a bad idea. What the hell do you have in here? Uh, what what ritual spell would you like? Are you trying to cast it, or are you just showing off? I'm just showing. Okay. Oh, Everyone's just like, I have no idea what any of this means, but it looks really pretty. Alright. Uh, her handwriting is very nice, very neat cursive, and uh, she starts reading out loud. I I have speak with animals, and unseen servant, and animal messenger, and comprehend languages, because I thought that one would be useful. Navarro's just going to pull out her own book and show it to her. All right, you have to uh, do the same that I do, actually. Yeah, but you actually what? don't have you a have your own uh, virtual book. This is so cool. Uh, you actually don't have a spell book that you use, Nivara. Uh, you just know them. It's oh, like an, it's an innate knowledge. It is not a spell book like wizards. Oh, I thought it was ritual. No, because remember I took ritual caster. Yes, with the ritual caster feat, you would have a ritual book. I was just letting you know that. I know. So, so I yeah. still have the book for the ritual spell. Yes, you do have the ritual book for the ritual spell. <laughs> That's... My apologies. So your point was me. <laughs> My apologies. I forgot. <laughs> uh, which? Oh, right. that's right. That's uh... right. I remember now. You took from the bard bard's uh, spell list because they had more ritual spells. Right. And they're based uh... on charisma. Yep. Which... I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look at um. 
Navarra's book in absolute awe. Just be like, oh, it's so cool! So pretty! And uh, she's gonna try to take it out of her hands, but then hesitate and then be like, uh, can, can I? Go ahead! Oh, thank you! And she's gonna start vigorously reading through it. Oh. Paper torn out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> More, I vigorously am imagining that's like eyes, like trying to it's burrow like, into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, aggressive reading, flipping the pages when she's done. You know, she's very, very, and very interested. All of her focus is in that now. She's gonna immediately notice that Navarra tends to doodle while writing down these spells, because each border of the page is, has like little vines drawn across it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say, oh. Oh, I like those little doodles. Makes it look really cute. I honestly don't know why I do this. It's cute. She actually looks a bit embarrassed that she doodles in her spell book. It's super cute. I really like it. <laughs> Thanks. I should do that with my own. Uh, so the scepter with the diamond in it, it's not trapped or anything. Yes. I will pick it up. Yoink! Uh, it, I said it. I said it. it it's, it's not trapped, but it is like it is like dug into the stone platform and it's immovable. Um, what happens if we try and etch out the diamond? No, Zadine <laughs> would stop you from doing that. He's like, this is obviously an artifact. Do you want to try and break it? Do you want it to explode? Because this is how you make it explode. <laughs> Honestly, you pointing out that it's an artifact on it makes me think of the elemental and talking about looting. Uh, speaking of which, by around this point, uh, Ixius, you have reached towards the end of your ten minutes. Uh, this is... it's definitely an uncommon item to see, except in major cities. Uh, but the staff is a staff of Speak With Plants, which is used to cre uh, control a nature's ladder. Oh. Is it attunement? Uh, it is not an attunement. You have to hold the staff in order to use the spell, which you can use it basically at will so long as you're holding the staff, but the staff cannot be moved uh, from where it has been ingrained. As you okay, can see so the current When rules. I grabbed it, did I feel anything? Like, the ability to suddenly commune with these plants? As when you grabbed it, uh, you... Wh when you grabbed it, what did you say? Uh, well, I was yelling at Naivara about trying to... <laughs> wedge the diamond out so more like something along the lines of we should figure out what it is that this staff does before we try anything it is obviously stuck in here for a reason of course where do you want to go there are many ways to go up down left right where do you want to go is that vocal like no, out like he hears okay. it you okay okay i squint <laughs> and i look around <laughs> Because I don't see anybody else. No. Nope. <laughs> Are and you okay? I, I think I'm sorry. You say you think that? I'm I'm thinking in my head. I'm sorry. Who is speaking to me? Silence. You looking real contemplative once again? What the hell happened? Can I roll? An insight check? I mean, on you, these plants? Uh, <laughs> no. You have voices in your head. Check to see if you're crazy. Uh, <laughs> he didn't hear it in his head. He heard it for, like a voice from around him. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I say out loud. Mm -hmm. uh, are you speaking to me, plants? Who else would we speak to? We've been talking to you all this time. You just haven't heard us. Silly human. Silly not listening. Terribly oh, sorry. I did not have my ears properly attuned. Tuned? He's should we be singing a song? Right? We should sing a song. Uh, all of a sudden, around you, as you're holding onto the staff, there's a flowing melody that just starts singing around you. Uh, okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to figure out what the fuck is going on, considering that my patron is a fucking fae? Arcana check. Ixius knows what Ixius knows know. what's up. Yeah. You're just watching him just like, what the heck? what is he doing? Can I roll it for Arcus? No. Damn. Uh, Arcus is laughing. I he will tell the group Arcus. that the plants are singing to me, and I think this staff lets me hear them. 
Okay, you know, I- I'm mm. going to point out right now exactly how crazy you just sounded. Grab the staff. Tell, tell Can I grab the staff? You may tell the staff where you want yeah. to go. Everybody get up on the platform. Okay, okay. I think it's an individual basis. It's one at a time. I asked the plants. Can I take everybody here with me, or do I need to take them in shifts? You're on this platform. Where do you want to go? Up, down, left, right, sideways, up, down, sideways? Yeah, yeah, Where can you take us? I just imagined some vines wiggling. <laughs> they, they are, actually. You see them, actually, there's like a shift in some of the vines. They're doing, like, like a, finger guns. <laughs> no, no finger guns, but it's, it's like a an... fine invi- version of it. it. It's like an invisible shifting of the yeah. wind. Ooh. And there's mm-hmm. definitely no wind down here. So, like, you see some uh, of them just like, start shifting about and waving. Ixius will grab the staff. Okay. Uh, and, it, he's, and I'll say, take us to Lord Windjaw. I ask that everybody be on the platform, right? So everyone is on the platform. Yeah. Yes. That is very specific. You are very unwise. We cannot take you to a specific person. Only places. Places to go. Places to see. Where do you wish to go? I hold up a hand to Ixius and I ask again, where can you take us? Where do you want to go? Where, where do you want to be? Where do you want to see? Up, down, left, right, sideways. Take us to out of character. Do we want to go to the castle? We haven't gone to the castle yet. Yeah. Take us yeah. to the castle. Hold on tight. You're gonna move. Moving this way. And all of a sudden you just feel the stone underneath you lurch as the roots grind against the stone and seem to lift it up and you're just like, okay, this is happening. And essentially this is fun. essentially <laughs> is um like a kind of like a Ghibli movie where it's like you're going up and down slightly. It's essentially like surfboarding at what this point. What did you do? It's not at a very not like a super mm. fast pace, but it's essentially like at a a, a dash that's just kind of going is... newing down a tunnel. <laughs> this is like yeah. elevator speed, but one of those freight elevators. Yes, where it's not going so fast that you'll be thrown off unless you know you completely just get too close to the edge and decide oh no we and fall off and hurt yourself <laughs> uh, but it is going fast enough that you know holding on to the staff is definitely going to help but at the same time oh. you can just move so like a subway yes mm-hmm. i'm just going to sit down okay <laughs> here's like oh okay. navar is holding on to the staff uh, i'm can... hugging the staff <laughs> okay i start talking to the plants um I they wanna... are not talking to you right now uh, they are currently oh, singing. Yeah, essentially, it's like a, a railway song where it's just like, Yeah, it's a world. Not that song. <laughs> uh, but it's more along the lines of, uh, To the castle, castle. Yeah. Here just we're rolling to the castle. <laughs> Start here reading. We're going, here we're going. Here we're going to the castle. Um, All I can think is Disney. My head is going to start swaying back and forth. <laughs> are you getting sick? No, I'm enjoying the music. Yeah, and you can hear, you can both hear this too now because you're holding on to the staff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you hear this singing, by the way. It's like as soon as you grab hold of it, you're like, okay, and then you hear it and you're just like, oh, and Arcus is just bobbing his head along with uh with uh, Demea is just very happily just. Hmm, hmm, How long have you understood them? Because I'm sure I notice Arcus like swaying, and he hasn't touched the staff once. He sticks his tongue at you again with less men. <laughs> Very coy, you know this. I'm gonna throw you off. Kind of tilts his head at you, just like opens up his wings. He's gonna just grab on you. He, he has like the the sad cat where he just like arms down, legs oh. and just like. Uh huh. Uh huh. It don't work on me. Come on. I give it guidance for a charisma check. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything to it. <laughs> it's, it's just like, like doop. It's literally like the fucking reprimanding parents. <laughs> no, it's like I'm just reading the book and I just reach my hand up and touch it. Did you just that's guidance? what I'm doing right now. I'm reading did that one just... spell book I got. Gotcha. Did you just guidance my dragon? I did nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting here reading. Ixius shoulder and be like, what you reading? This book I found. What's the book? 
a spell book. Oh, can I see? I, I like, like move it where we both can read it. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll lean down and read it with him. Okay. Still bobbing my head to the music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you actually recognize one of them because one of them is Unseen Servant. Oh. Uh, the other ones uh, were right. Arcane Lock and Knock, which I do not believe that you get. I'll let's check Knock real quick. Nope. Knock is a spell that you can get. Arcane Lock, not so much. Let me see here. Curious, curious question. Hmm? Exactly how fast is this platform going? Like, in terms of, let's say, feet. 60 feet per 6 seconds. Okay. So it's essentially going a full dash action for a normal person, but it's able to do it at a very consistent rate. It, it could yeah. move faster if you asked it to, but you'd actually have to hold on if you wanted that. I'm good! <laughs> I was wondering if I could send Arcus ahead, but I don't know if he could fly much further. Uh, what's his moving think... speed? Arcus uh -huh. on Expeditious Retreat. Let me see. His movement speed is 60. 60 feet. Uh, so Without yeah. dashing. <laughs> yeah, with, with dashing, he could get ahead of it. Yeah, I'll keep him around. Uh, the last thing I need is for him to get shot. <laughs> right. Uh, what I was checking about Nock was to see if it was a, uh, a ritual spell, which it is not. Yeah, it's not. But yes, it is a spell that, you know, if she wanted to pick up at some point, she could. Uh, but mm -hmm. it's just that she can look it over with you. Oh no, she can't get Expeditious Retreat. No, she cannot. That's not a Bard spell, unless she picked up a Magical Secrets at level 10. No. Yep. Uh, which, you know, you guys are moving at a pretty uh, quick pace. It's You have no idea how long this is going to take you, but you, you can definitely... It's not like a going to be a super seasick one, and you actually feel that most of the rocking motion is because at certain points, like, you feel like it miss a root, and the other roots have to kind of like move to compensate. It's been a while since <laughs> they've been uh, actually used or utilized. So, uh, I'll, I'll talk to the man. So what can you actually do? Oh, oh, I could do a lot, I think. I think it's a can, lot. Can you do this? And I'll minor illusion of, the, of uh, Mr. Noodles. Hold on. Would I be able to tell it's a illusion? Uh, investigation check. All right. Hold on, I'm not on that page. Oh shit. <laughs> Give me a moment! <laughs> Come on, <here> go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just hear this, this tiny, innocent voice. Oh shit. Um, what did you? What? Investigation? Investigation. 17. Uh, My save is. is 15. So yeah, you, you're able to see through it. Like at first, you're like, "Oh my gosh, that's a real sn." Oh no, no, that's an illusion. Ah. All right, hold on. I'm to see if I can actually do that. Hold on, gotta scroll right back. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it a full window. I guess I could. I just. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Um... No. Excuse right. me. Uh... I'll say. Oh no, I can't. That's so cool. How'd you do that? Uh, oh, uh, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Suddenly, Navarro just decides to attack the roots. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh god, no! No! Early oh, red. Again, another wasted nat twenty. God damn it! <laughs> you were gifted with the nat twenty. Dang it! Just at a wrong time. That, I, th you know, I think that's going to be the name of this episode. Just gifted with nat 20s. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to have to remember that, otherwise I'm going to forget. Yeah. I, and then I'm going to show her my actual book. The one with the gems. Right. And then I'm going to show her Minor Illusion spell. Ooh. If, you want, if, you, if you do stick with us, I could teach this to you. I actually come <gasps> to think of it, I know this. Would I see him doing this? You're on the same platform. It's not like he can hide it. I would think that he has his back. Everyone like the fucking recluse he is. <laughs> He's just sitting down. I'm just sitting down. I just sat down right like that. I have no idea. Shit. Why are you? You know, never mind. I'm not going to ask. No, fuck it. Yeah, I'm going to ask. Why are you 
using Minor Illusion. I'm trying to see her abilities. A abilities to what? Perceive cool. your tricks? I made Mr. Noodles, what's the problem? Uh, <gasps> he has a name? Not... Technically, yeah, that's it's not just him. Mr. Noodles on my shoulder. The whole time. <gasps> well, I guess I never noticed. <laughs> he just pokes his head out from under the hood, just like... <gasps> Hi, little buddy! Oh, you're so cute! He Arcus, like, your playmate is here. He, he uh, Arcus <laughs> wiggles and waves at him. Mr. News kind of like tilts his head to the side. Its little tail pokes out and waves. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute! You guys have such nice animals. Oh, it's so cute. I can just hold them all. I think you could hold bright eyes. Bright eyes. Like, you? <laughs> like looks like my name. girl. <laughs> Squints at you. Ah, you're big and beautiful. I don't can, worry. I can at least, at least, like kneel down and hold her, and I'm gonna do exactly that. <laughs> Needle. <laughs> uh, she's your. <laughs> she she's a medium sized creature. She's she's a she's like hugging she's a. She's probably big, bigger than you. She it's like hugging a a mastiff. Oh, it's a a, that big. You know yes. what? That's fine. I'm gonna kneel it, down and hug a little leggy anyway. Uh, it, 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 it's hugged and it just kind of stares forward uh, after, uh, by the way, when you do this, uh, if you're wrapping your arms around it, you no longer hear the plant singing, but it just kind of, she just kind of stares forward for a moment and slowly leans in and just kind of like lays in your lap and just thump. <laughs> well, you already made a friend. <gasps> so cute. I'm going to put one of my hands back on uh, the staff, but use the other to pet. Uh, bright eyes, I think you said that now. Yep, she right. kind of moves her paw just like uh, her clawed uh, talons, actually, not paw. Front legs are talons. And she kind of makes like a more motion. But as soon as you, she, you start brushing your fingers through her feathers, she calms down and just. <sighs> oh, it's such a cutie. You're so, so pretty. <laughs> Yes, I suppose she is. You hear a voice from behind you. I look behind us. Uh, there's a dwarven female sitting on the end of the platform, just kind of looking just very bemused. Does she look skeletal or undead? She looks pale. I wouldn't say she's skeletal, but she's definitely pale. Who the fuck are you? Just passing by, I just heard something about something being cute and figured I'd pop in to say hello. Where did you come from? Around. Uh, I look behind myself to see her and go, Oh, hi! Navarra is immediately gonna put her hand in, or like her arm in front of Demaya. We don't know who she is. That's okay, I promise but... I don't bite. She says, grinning wildly, just like being very pleasant, looking just, hello. I look at her teeth when she grins. Roll what do perception I Perception check. Yeah. yeah, I'll do the same. I'll give him guidance. Uh, Again, I'll take that. that Tony. So, uh, Navara, you you see she smiles. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll as well? Uh, yeah, I will. Yep. If I was on the right tab. <laughs> it's all about you the perception, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, because you are actually trying to see her teeth. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, mm -hmm. I remember my perception being a 15. Did it go down? Fuck. Shouldn't have. I'm oh, not a 15, a five, plus 5. I didn't change. Oh, well, maybe thinking I'll figure it out later. After. Yeah. Um, Emmy, were you wanting to check it out as well? No, I trust her completely. Of course. <laughs> no, it, it, it was my stealth, I suppose. Ah, of course. That's oh, okay. Um, Zadim, her canines are longer than you would expect of a dwarf. Mm hmm. All right. I ask her, what is your name? Let me pull up my notes here real quick. Ah, yeah, you actually got, me, got to my notes part of this. All right. Woo, the notes. 
notes to him. That nice and uh, nice and fun point where it's just like, all right, it's time to get hit up the notes. Uh, Don. Hmm. Never mind. I can't do this because I don't know. Unless the dean's gonna point it out to me. Point out what? I'm not going to be rude and just out her yet. It might make her do something we don't like. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, she... <coughs> Excuse my name me. Is... You're fine. My name is Kalia. Ooh, hey. what a pretty name. It's nice to meet you. Would you like me to spell that out for you? Yes, please. please. Let's see if I got it right. Kalia of the House of Carver. I was close. House of Carver? I wasn't. Are you, I knew it was a K, and I knew it ended with A. That was about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. House of... Are you from... Down here? Down here? This city, this area. Well, I hardly think anyone from down here would be around from down here, but I was in this place at one point. Would I know here if the... right now? I am here right now, yes. But right why? Here. Is the House of Carver familiar to me at all since I read that journal? Roll an intelligence check to see if you remembered seeing that name. Like, if you want to pull out the book to try and find it, you can, uh, but if you're just trying to remember it, it could have been one of the names. Would I just know <laughs> anything about it from my background? No. Okay. This is from uh, the, any, I... anything. If it was from this city, this city was from long enough ago that you don't remember any of their names because they are no longer part of current politics, as well as the fact that since you've heard no names like that in current politics, you wouldn't know. Can I check the book? You can check the book. Because if, if it seems familiar, then I'm sure that it's going to be a case of like, okay, now I need to look. As you pull out the book, you see your eyes kind of dart towards it slowly, just like, Oh, you found Lord Winja's book. That's you are from down here. Why do you know him? Because I found that book. So you Is have been down skeleton here. skeleton man? Yes. Um, would you happen to know which direction Mr. Skeleton Man went? Mr. Skeleton... Oh, that's adorable. You're trying to give him a nickname to make him sound. Mm. That's... Technically, she called him it, and I couldn't help but to use it. <sighs> Yaduli would be so disappointed to hear that. Who? Yaduli. I'll spell that out as well. Who's Yaduli? Lord Winja, of course. You duly win jaw. Interesting. Lord, you duly win jaw. Are you friends with Lord Winjaw? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> I simply am fascinated with his work, or rather, the work of his court. Do you know what he is? I'd hardly call him alive if you're referring to his current state of being. As for what he is, that's part of what fascinates me. I'm perplexed. I might have an idea. Oh? I'm all ears. And, and now, give me a second, because I need to pull out that name that you gave me that I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Ah, where is it? You did send it in the Discord, didn't you? I should have. I believe you did. Ah! I'm trying to find it. Forgive me for taking so long. I should have wrote this down in notes. It's okay. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to ask, uh, Kilia. Uh, do you. You said that he wouldn't be happy with the nickname I gave him. Do you think I should just call him. You duly? Is that what you said? I don't believe even his most closest companions called him anything other than Lord Winjaw. The title 
was, I wouldn't say near and dear to his heart. <laughs> Even when he was alive, I wouldn't say that he was one who had much of such a thing, but at the same time, it was as he had asked to be called. Okay, um, if you're still calling him Windjaw, then I don't want to make him uncomfortable. <laughs> I turn to Ebrin very subtly and ask, by the way, what is the name of this city? <gasps> Did I not tell you? Oh my god. Oh, Just man. Out of curiosity. Hold on. I can't find it. Fuck. It's like fierce something. What name are you trying to think of? She's trying to think of the name that her patron had whispered to her. Because she had asked during her short rest if she could find out the name of it, and her patron mentioned that it may be a ghast or something else, which should be in her notes. I swore I wrote it down, but I guess I fucking didn't. So fuck me. I'm going to have to roll to see if I remember. There it is. You found it? Wow. Yep. Uh, uh, Fierce Jaren? How you fucking pronounce that, I think? Fierce Jaren. Uh, I'm going to wait until they're done with the conversation before I point this out. Okay. Uh, this place is known as Craven Hollow. <laughs> okay. That ain't spooky. <laughs> to be fair, it was near a uh, bunch of craven areas before it was buried and so it likely had a history of things using that for defensive purposes but at the same time very spooky sounding place Gary skeletons so he does mention oh. that is the name mm -hmm. what are you doing down here, Kelia? Research, as I said before. A place like this is a good place to look for the old, to make something new. Are you literally saying that you were here to scope out the... Someone's car alarm went off! <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Make something new, what you making? Are you here to scope out the area? For, like, expedition? Yes. Why? Inside check. Go ahead. Yeah, I fucking want to try that too. Oh. Uh, you am I still... on this. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that 21. Okay, are we sure Oz blessed the chat? <laughs> Apparently. Is Oz are... still watching? I don't know, but if she I'm... is... If you are Oz, hi Oz. <laughs> and thank you for all these nat 20s. Right. <laughs> that I have gotten. Right. It's good that one person's getting them. She is definitely withholding information. All of you can sense that just from looking at her. Uh, mm -hmm. But she's being very pleasant about it. Clearly, it's whatever it is. Uh, she's she's up to her own devices, which you know she just met you just as much as you just met her. Uh, she's mm -hmm. just being wary, reclusive, and patient. Mm, fair enough. I'll look at her. I'm like, what is it you're after? Maybe we can help each other. I highly doubt that, although I appreciate the sentiment. After all, if you were able to find what I'm looking for, I would have been able to find it myself. No, I don't need any help. I still want to know why you just dropped in to say hello. Because you figured out how to use the nature's ladder, and well... The fact that you had someone with the skills to do so, well, I was curious. We touched the staff! Yes. Do you know how many people don't even think to do that? They look at it and they think, oh, it's cursed. Oh no, whatever will we do? We'll never escape, blah, blah, blah. Although I imagine that's only the 
three or so people who've actually been down here in so long. It's been an absolute nightmare trying to get down here. I've been trying to do so for years. It's only recently that I've even been able to do so. Do you know why this wind jaw is sending ghouls to the surface? Now that I can imagine. I mean, if you were a king of an area that had had itself buried for so long and you found out that there was way back up, wouldn't you send out scouts, little feelers? To well, see unfortunately, we on? killed those scouts. Yeah, they're dead. Again. <laughs> she, like, stares at you for a moment and slowly smiles. Of course. And I would imagine, of course, that in doing so, you killed all of the scouts. All the ones we saw. Then you did not kill all of them, did you? Because for every ones that you've seen, how many did you miss? Well, we can't. We're coming to the source. Of course. Well, whatever that case may be. I do hope that you have safe travels. She gives a little half bow. Before we go, do you know exactly where Winjong would be? Oh, if he's not in the temple, he would make his way to the throne room. So right. we're on the rise rack. Well, if you're heading towards there, which this, pl this platform seems to be moving quite speedily towards it, I'd imagine you'll find it soon enough. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to do something stupid. Hold on to the staff. I'm already holding on to the staff. Hold on tighter. <laughs> oh, okay. Ixius, that includes you, yep. trust me. I hold on to it. I bring She's gonna give with the hands. She's gonna give the command to go faster. <laughs> uh, the singing picks up in its intensity as it basically goes into from basically it was going 60 feet per six seconds now it's going 120 feet per six seconds mm -hmm. so it basically doubled its speed and she notices you like you kind of have to say that out loud and she kind of smiles at that ah well I'll take my leave and she just kind of doesn't even just stand up she kind of just rolls backwards and back off of it as you fly off <laughs> alright uh <laughs> Even if it's after a while, I'm gonna look back and be like, It was nice meeting you! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so how long does it take us to get to the castle? It takes about, with you moving 120 feet per second and basically having no traffic to stop you, it takes mm -hmm. you about an hour. Wow. Actually, no, not an hour, uh, just under an hour. Like, say mm -hmm. 45 minutes. But it still okay. takes you quite some time, because even if you are doing basically a mad dash, you're still, you know, having to go through winding-ish area, where it's basically trying to make sure that you don't, you know, go towards areas that have been buried or otherwise taken away. Uh, which, in certain areas, it does have to slow down and then go down a different path to get you to there, but it seems like it knows exactly where it's going. Oh... <sighs> So eventually you find yourselves deposited quite nicely uh, at another cavern. Uh, this it, You hear the stone kind of grind slightly as it is dropped into uh, a little pedestal-like area where clearly this is designed for where this, is, this platform is specifically supposed to land. Uh, the area is ornate. It is covered with large depictions of dwarves, uh, likely dwarven kings, as each one is carved in such a way that it looks like they have been embellished with various staves, robes, crowns, essentially everything that can be done to make them look kingly has been done. Mm. Uh, even just looking them over, like you see a variety of different styles to the way that they're carved as well, as well as varieties to the clothes from uh, ancient dwarves wearing full plate mail armor to ones wearing just robes with 
uh, little items in their beards, likely some kind of gems or gemstones. Uh, others who are dressed in very odd ancient clothing styles, which Naivara can look at and be like, I can take that for my st clothing style, I can take that for my clothing style. <laughs> I'm going to call you out on that. I know how much you like clothing. I ain't going to let you miss that opportunity. <laughs> do, do I have any blank pieces of paper on me? Because I would absolutely quickly sketch out the idea. <laughs> roll, roll a dex check to see how quick you can uh, do this. Or if you want to if you want to take more time, you can do it later. But if you want to just quickly do a sketch of one of them, roll a dex check. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, boy. Okay, that's not bad. It, it, it's decent. Basically, you're just doing a quick sketch of like, the design rather than the body. So it's not like you're drawing a person in it. You're just drawing like ideas for like, hey, this is what one of the arms could look like. Like this, oh, this one's got poofy shoulders. I could put that right here. This one's got not so poofy legs, but if I get it with this in there, maybe just very quickly, I'd say a uh, quick three minute sketch. Just getting some ideas as everyone's like moving forward and like, yeah, 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 just coming. <laughs> Blowing on I'm the- I'm assuming uh, everyone's hmm? let go of the staff by now, yes. right? Yes. And I it's all been... gone. Yes. I thanked the plants. Ah, grateful. Yes, you're grateful. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After all, they just dashed for 120 feet for yeah. like almost an hour. Well, can I grab onto and say thank you too? I'm sorry. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Your singing's really nice too. Ah, 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 ah. Just a good company of Oz. Draw off the staff before she starts having conversation. <laughs> I mean, I will. I have, I have like, I cast Maytan, and I have it like doing the come here with one finger in front of Demara. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Demara. Right. It's like a hot blue arcane hand. So you just Ooh. see a spectral hand just saying, come here. Woo, okay, okay. And she'll go so, wherever that is. <laughs> fancy statues with fancier clothes. What do we see in this throne room, apparently? Uh, it's, this is not the throne room. The throne I'm gonna room would be up in the castle. Right now you're in the oh. underside of it. Okay. Uh, Can you... I tell what might be like the best entrance for Arcus to make it quickly to the throne room? Uh, there's a crack in the ceiling. Uh, otherwise, there is a set of massive stone doors in front of you. I mean, we can't stealth this, so might as well fucking kick the door down. How about we just open it gently? <laughs> you want to try and test it to see if it uh, opens quietly? Be my guess. You said this place was very fancy and royal. Right? Yes. Alright, well, I am going to start spinning around in glee, because this is where I belong. <laughs> of course. This reminds me of a home. Spider webs everywhere. No spider webs. It's just spider webs everywhere. It's all dirty. It's very dusty, but there's no spider webs. A royal looking area reminds you of home? Yeah. I'm... Who are you? I take my shield and my empty sword handle out just to be on the safe side. Okay. I'm going to just open the door. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm Tamea. I was born in a royal family. Your royalty. We've been lucky you're our royalty. What did you say? I said we've been looking around royalty. The dean just kind of shrugs because he's just like people out of people. She's going she's going to pull the dean down so like all like he's the only one who can hear. Do you understand how much trouble I can get into if she realizes what the fuck I'm doing here? And and I'm there too. I'm like, but is it from the and then probably rewarded? Ever okay. moves between uh, the group and her, just like, nothing to see here. Want to help me with the door? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think looking at her that she's the kind of person who cares about? I mean, she? Really. I am no. spinning around, still very much in glee. <laughs> she? No. Her parents? Yes. The parents who stuck her in a cage in a collapsed underground city full of undead people. I don't know if she was kidnapped or not. She said that she was taken away by guards and that she she farewelled her parents. I really don't believe uh, they're looking for her. I, I started. Was not here for this. <laughs> uh, can I, can I hear them yeah. talking about this? We're huddled. We're like they're huddled and whispering. 
That's okay. Why, so that's why everyone's trying to distract you by saying, hey, you want to help me with the door? Out of character, <laughs> that all happened. Like, her parents apparently had their guard. Yes. Their oh, okay. She, she never said that she said goodbye to her parents, just that her, the uh, the guards had taken her to this area. But it were her parents' guards, right? They were her parents' guards, yes. Hmm. At this so point, how do we know this windjaw guy didn't alter him? That's true. All right. Until we have more information, assume that you don't have. <laughs> okay. That's all you really can do. Uh, you all right. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> approach. Either way, I'm not I'm leaving her. Right. I'm gonna approach. They're still hushed. <laughs> Lean forward and be like, "What are you guys talking about?" <laughs> we are trying to figure out how best to approach the situation. Uh, he I, lies, just like I'm not fingers. lying. <laughs> uh, lie or not, she believes it. <laughs> <laughs> also, as you guys are whispering, you hear. <sighs> oh, that's not quiet. As you see, oh. Erin turn around. It's a big stone door. What do you expect? I told you, and that's aimed at Ixius, by the way. But then just I talking. clap a hand over both of their mouths and he's say, at the door. I clap a hand over Nybara's mouth, and I point a finger at him, and I say, Neither. I'm trying to be as stealthy as I can. I know the door is not your fault, that is fine. I point at Nybara, you, however. <laughs> your own What's wrong? Advice. Because we are trying to be quiet right now, the mayor, because we, we do be not know what is inside the castle. There very well be something that wishes us harm, so we need to approach very carefully. Okay, we need to be really quiet. As this, possible. this is good. This is very good, yes. Okay. <laughs> very good, yes. <laughs> what does that mean? Fuck! I'm going... I am going to help Zadim out to cast Enhance Ability Dexterity. <laughs> I point at Ixius and I say, I very much appreciate this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eberyn peeks his head in and just like... <clears throat> You know, I mean, I know you guys are like being like, you know, hush, hush and whatnot. It's a hallway. There's no one down the hallway. I think we can talk without them knowing we're going down a hallway that's empty. <laughs> and as soon as Nivar hears this, she's going to sink her teeth into fucking Zadim's hand. <laughs> the ma the mage hand is on everyone. Um, I've been bit by bright eyes. You really think you're going to do better than that? No. It's <laughs> yeah, a way to get exactly. you to move it. Mm -hmm. I move while well, I can't move right now. You're biting into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine her just like glaring at it, just like. <laughs> He's just got both eyes, both eyebrows up, but both eyes like half lit. Like, what are you gonna do? I the unimpressed right face! Now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> hold on. You let go. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll let go. Uh, Don, who who's the guy at the door again? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Ebrin, the dwarf. The dwarf. Evren? Evren. Evren. No, e with Ebrin. Ebrin. It. Hold on. I will type it oh. out for you. E b r e n. Ebrin. Excuse nope, me. Ebrin. Ebrin. <laughs> Don't worry, this is a present. Ebrin. Oh, it's Ebrin. <laughs> okay. He um, going to ding the world. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk to Ebrin mm -hmm. since he's being very loud. I'm take his hands take actually take one of his hands and then put no, there's a already finger. a mage hand on his mouth yeah <clears throat> mage hand oh okay she, she wanted all to right. do it for him so, <laughs> all right i'm gonna at I'm least gonna take both just... of his hands and be like we, we gotta be we gotta be quiet because it said so i mean yeah but Sidim is a very smart guy i am not a very smart guy but even i it's can see it's, okay. it, it's it's a big hallway and there's no one down Ever? there and i'm just your oh, voice I was... do you trust him Yes. Well, then this is like... maybe you should listen to what he says. He has, he has best interest for us. Okay. He just he looks <laughs> like just, just defeated. Just, yeah, okay. I should have just... And then she'll bring, bring him into a hug. He, he hugs and pats your head. I haven't gotten a hug yet. Yay. <laughs> looks are nice. Sitting... I'm always willing to give a hug. I'm going to send Arcus past them and down the hallway. Invisible, naturally, because fuck. Bright yellow stands out. <laughs> I'm stealthing down the hallway. Okay, uh, everyone who wants to can roll a stealth check. Thank god it's not a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> everyone will also be rolling a stealth check this time. And I will <laughs> guidance myself. <laughs> uh, I'm not stealthing. Yes. <laughs> He's sneaking. She's sneaking. She's not sneaking. Oh my god! 
it. You didn't even need the guide. <laughs> oh my god! Ixius has become one with the air. He's gliding okay, through. Okay, he really needs this fucking- he, Jesus fucking Christ! There has to be something for this. He, he, I, I'm not good at- He's the lucky feet! <laughs> No, he's not getting the lucky feet because he's clearly already lucky. You take the lucky feet when you're worried that you're not gonna be lucky. That's a good so point. So me. <laughs> As you just see Ixius just like gl again gliding through the air, just oh, oh, just like just like yes, I've been your blessed. God. Uh, just completely. It, it, almost it's like Doctor Manhattan when he floats down the hallway. Kind of, God yeah. Basically, your feet are you like there's like somewhat footsteps from Naivara walking down. Definitely footsteps from uh, Demaya because she's not she's not stealthing, uh, but you know Ebrin and Zadim they're like they're being pretty pretty good stealthy like Zadim obviously more so than Ebrin but just you just watch he's just like hovering down the hallway just like I'm not you you can't hear me I'm not even here. Why are you guys walking funny again? You because just don't you don't stealthy. see me. <laughs> the mirror does stealthy. not see me. Yeah, like hey, none you know, of them see me. You, like you know how you said I need to be quiet. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a way we're trying to be quietly walking. Oh, oh, should I join? Yeah, join us. Oh, uh, okay, it looks kind of uncomfy, but I'll do it. And does that mean I have to? Go ahead. I... <laughs> oh, I gave Arcus, by the way, the... Can I guidance her now? Uh, <laughs> no. Because you guided us yourself and rolled yeah. 20 and wasted it. I mean, to be fair, you didn't waste it, you just it's got 28 wasted. stealth. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh... Um... I sent Arcus ahead with the instructions, like, come back when you find that person. Or find uh, the fucking throne. Can I say that, that makes sense. <laughs> right, I is flying and doesn't have to make a cell check. Uh, Actually, technically, you would still because her wings would be beat. Yeah, she's not now. Uh, all right, I'll say that she's walking. Yeah, just be, so and also because it, it is, it's a, it's a wide area. This is obviously a place built for processions. I'd say it's about mm -hmm. 60 feet wide and about 100 feet tall. Jesus Christ. Jeez, okay, yeah, flying works, I guess. Mm -hmm. She's not going to be able like to really circle session, around very easy, but... Yeah, she's, next session's going to be nothing but nat ones. I'm calling it now. Let's hope not. Please. Uh, so you guys you guys are being pretty sneaky. Uh, Demaya and Naivara, well, you know, uh, she's trying to, you know, be stealthy. I don't imagine you're wearing heels because the guards would not have packed those specifically for you. But probably not. But you're still like. I imagine she was wearing flats, or she was just barefoot. I, I imagine it's more your dress that is like that make that ruffling yeah, noise. Yeah, the like, ruffling noise. And I also imagine she'd probably trip. <laughs> she she trips and everyone's got to hold her. Just like no, no, we got you. He's like got an arm on both ladies. One who's looking through uh, Arcus's eyes, and the other just on you. Just like no, don't fall. No. Oh, now I'm Ever gets all the ticks. Everyone catches her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's gonna look up and be like, oh, My hero! <laughs> Face immediately bright red. Oh! <laughs> He's just like, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Also, don't forget, he is, he is a, a dwarf. He is not a tall boy. That's totally fine. He's probably up to what? I, he never put down his actual height, so I will. I'll let you know that you when mean I. You never put down his actual height. No, no. Right. I, uh, well, yeah, I didn't. But I can. I can get that real quick. Mhm. Mm yeah, because he was a. Oh man, he's he's not a tall boy. Oh no. Oh no, he's. Small boys are valid. Stop yeah. picking them on. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that he's you know unvalid or anything like that. Is um, he like three and a half feet valid. tall or something? No, no, he's he's taller than that. Any dwarf three, that's... Nine. He's probably like 4 or 5, I think. 4 or 5 or five, 4 or 6 is the average. No. How tall is he? <laughs> he's 4 3. I think he's up oh, to his tits. Oh, this poor lad. <laughs> and weighing in at 6 3. I got... I now need to look up height comparison to see where the fuck he is. You would. She's a... You know I am! So she's tall compared to him, for sure. Yes. Comparably... You're tall compared to him and Naivara. Yep, but yeah, he, he he's still able to catch you. He's still got a good strong arm on him to catch you. Make sure you don't fall on your bum. So I was accurate. Or on my face. Yes. 
Uh, this poor man. Yeah, but he, he's still, he's, you know, he's the shortest of everyone in the group, just like, don't worry, I've got this, just holding up his hand so he can actually be, you know, quote-unquote head level with everyone else. He's just like, okay, no. Uh, but yeah, you, you can basically put your hand on his head to help guide you. <laughs> uh, I imagine you don't. I imagine you put it on his shoulder, because you're nice. But exactly. I, I said you could. might not even, like, touch him at all. And yeah. I just, during the circumstances... Actually, you know what? No, she'd probably hug him. I'm gonna hug him. <laughs> he he hugs you back, just pats you on the shoulder, like we're still. Nivara's gonna. She doesn't know that you're hugging me. He's like he's like trying to keep up with Nivara to make sure she doesn't oh, fall or trip. Oh, okay, sorry. Also sorry, hugging. I'll like, go. No worries. I'll, like I'll hug you um, later. Yeah, gives a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> looking through, uh, um, Arcus's eyes. Uh, so many companions. <laughs> so many companions. I'm keeping them all in order. Uh, well, Miss News is just on. Camaro's head. <laughs> okay. You've got a little snake I have, friend. I haven't moved him since. Wait, what? You have a little snake friend on your head. With, oh, what? With feathery wings. You do, yes. Oh it's my god, on. Mr. Mills is on me? Oh, yes. Yeah, he's been on you the whole time. What? Yep. I had no idea. Alright, well, I'm <laughs> going to say... Uh, I didn't... I, I, the character, had no idea either. So <laughs> she's going to be like... Oh, and then cover her mouth. And, of course. Because she's got to be quiet. But then be like... Hey, Hello, buddy, and then start petting it, little it, head. It boops your nose with the tip of its tail. <gasps> so cute. It rests its I'm chin so on your the top of your head. Uh, meanwhile, I'm so <laughs> glad I can't hear any of this. Of course, uh, Arcus is uh, being as careful as he can. Every now and then, he uh, flies up either uh, towards little chandelier areas to kind of scope things out, making sure not to do any of the jangly ones with, like you know. The, uh, the oh shinies, so many shinies. No, no, no. I know, I know. No shinies, I know. But the shiny, they're, they're all glass, but shiny. Uh, flies up ahead, pauses as he looks down two areas. He's right now about ninety feet away. Looks down, he sees uh, two sight areas. Uh, one smelling strongly. Of he sends back to you. He, you don't smell it. It's only sight and hearing. But he sends back to you. He's like. <laughs> Smell that ale. Hey, you remember that drinky stuff that you found that you were like, man, this could be really useful? I smell some of that. Drinky? You mean Sorry. alcohol? Yeah, that stuff. Why is there alcohol down here that isn't rotten beyond belief? You can't hear me, but I, I say this is a dwarven castle. You think they are going to have some sort of ale making apparatus? Also smells yucky. <clears throat> Define yucky. Like, the zombies kind of yucky? The uh... You smell rotten flesh. Yeah. Oh, oh and that... by the way, she is replying to this replies... out loud and telepathically. <laughs> so you guys hear her. You basically hear half of a conversation. You hear a one-sided conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She sounds crazy. I am crazy. It's just that you know what I'm talking to is real. Not crazy to Demea. <laughs> Um, he's like, should I? He like, you can, you can, you can feel like his form kind of crouching up, like a, a cat that's starting to arch its back. Should I, should I check do it out? Not. I'm checking it out. No. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'll pop you back into the pocket dimension. No, you won't. You want to know what's down there. You want to make sure that you don't run into these things. Oh, fine. Five minutes. <laughs> he uh. He kind of like he paused at that. It's not gonna take you five minutes to get here. Oh, son of a... he five minutes max. <laughs> he, he flies in to quickly peek inside one of the rooms. Uh, it is a wine cellar. You can tell this quite quickly. And as soon as he flies in and starts looking around, he can see a good number of zombies that are down here. Uh, they are not in any way that you can currently see armored. They look to just be lumbering around doing what they had done in life. It uh, looks like they're, they're not making wine but looks like they're at the very least like moving various barrels like basically from one area and then going back to what they were doing and then go back to the barrel that they moved and moving it back. So basically they're rearranging things. <laughs> Sounds like things me on my average forward. day. Yeah. And they're basically <laughs> doing what they had done in life just moving things from one side of the room to the other, deciding it doesn't look good there, moving it back, and then deciding to do the same thing again. What the actual hell? <laughs> Arcus um, okay. just sits on one of the uh, one of the barrels, just like looks at them. 
things back to you. See? This was interesting. This is weird. I know, right? But it's so cool weird. Uh, looking around the room, he's just like... <laughs> Uh, he also sees that there are uh, like certain ones that look like they're more ar there are a few that are armored looks like there's two of them that are that look like they're like waving their hands around like they're giving orders and some of the other zombies just kind of look back at you and just like throwing up their arms like what do you want <laughs> us to do <laughs> basically exactly like watching a workforce sass each other um, valid okay. Zombies. Just keep in mind that I cannot hear you when I say this. For some reason, the zombies are mulling about as if they are normal people doing their everyday job. They are even, in fact, being snappy with one another. Is she saying this to everyone? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is that loud. Okay. <laughs> what? There are zombies? Arcus quickly gets bored with that room. He's like, okay, other room. <laughs> flies over. <laughs> flies to the next room over. Uh, I realized room. something. I was wondering why the fuck Arcus was being so fucking snippety but back sassing me. He's a fucking teenager in his age. I just realized this. How did you not realize this? It's the whole reason why I, I gave you a yellow one. I forgot their age scale. Yeah, he, he's basically he's basically a prison wing teenager. Right. Why do you think he's like, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. But I still love you. <laughs> I said, you're not my real mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it. Yeah, he would never say that. Bless you, by the way. That sounded like a sneeze. Oh, thank you. No problem. That was an adorable squeak. <laughs> uh, Arcus flies to the other room. Again, wine room. Uh, more, pe more dwarves. These ones, like, look like they're, like, just kind of sitting around a circular area just like uh, 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 uh. Um, these ones are conversing all these zombies are acting like they're normal well do we have to interact with them we could probably just go in there and say hi or we could just avoid them or I guess we could do that too. I mean, they're zombies. We don't know how they're actually going to see someone living. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, they seem friendly enough if they're talking to each other. Uh, Arcus also does notice in that room. Uh, may actually, make a perception check for Arcus. I believe he has advantage on sight based perception. Correct me if uh, I'm wrong. I don't think he has advantage on anything like that. Sweet. So just a straight perception roll. That's still a good perception roll. <laughs> there is a woman in this room. Oh, she, God. She is not with form. She appears completely translucent. Elvin in composure, just sitting there watching them all. Just watching. And Does every she... now and then she glances towards the door as though she's waiting for something. Does she... What is her expression? Does she look like depressed? Does she look neutral, happy? What? Yeah, pull this up here to make sure her description's right. Oh, uh, her face is looks like it's puckered, like angrily. You said she was pretty much see through. Yep. I'm well, assuming not... that I can not fully see through it's like you can see there's some translucence to her form can i tell what the hell is up with her uh you can make an educated guess or you can roll an arcana check i'm gonna roll an arcana check my fucking educated guess is that it's like one of those fucking projecting images but you know i failed <laughs> probably, probably that it's a, definitely a good guess there's a woman in the corner, you said in the corner, didn't you? Or in the back? Uh, she's okay. off to the side, um, and the reason why you notice it is because Arcus, like, looks at her for a moment, looks away, then, it's like, you can, like, feel his head do, like, that slow... Feel his double take! Yeah, like, that slow, creaky head is just like, oh, no. As uh, around her, you see that there are a few shinies. Oh, no! 
<laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so right, it's past what? the five minute shinies. Mm -hmm. Is he within? He's not within telepathy fucking range, is he? I said that he was with. I mean, granted, he's within the very edge of it. If you guys stopped at the eighty feet mark, um, no. If you no. got closer to it, did you? Did no. you guys get closer to it, or did you stop when you were at the eighty feet mark when he saw the two pathways? I figured we kept walking. Yeah, that's what I figured. So you guys are outside the doorway right now. Yeah. Cool. No. So, no. No, no, no. We should be at the crossroads between them because we don't know where we're going yet. Right? Which yeah. the doorway yeah. is open. Oh. Uh, no. That's how wait, he's able did... to fly between them. Can you, like, describe that to us so we didn't just walk into an open doorway where we don't know what people are going to see? Yeah, especially since I'm describing every <laughs> fucking room. That's why, I <laughs> yeah. that's why I asked if you would have stopped because she's describing these rooms and... It's still a complete straightaway. Still going straightway, but there's two doorways that are open. Okay, I thought these were at, like, the end of hall. No, no, no. This is, you are still down the singular hallway. It's just that there are two rooms with open doors. Yeah. Uh, we would have stopped. Is completely so the doors, we would have stopped. We would have stopped so that no one can see us. So about 50, 50 feet from it. I yeah, have, take. but I'm sure someone else would have stopped me. Or uh, probably, actually, no, probably close to, like, 20 feet away, because... It's within a doorway's vision, but making sure, you know, no one can see you. So I can still talk to him. Yes, you are definitely within range to talk to him. Yeah, he's definitely hearing a no, no. But, but, but. No. Sh shiny. No, I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. Get back here now. She won't notice one missing. Now. Just one. Arcus, you have until the count of three. Come, come on. One. But I just... Two. Fine. I'm coming. He stares at it for like a couple seconds longer. You can you can like hear him visibly. <sighs> Navarro's getting like like actually physically ready to fucking snap him away if he decides to lunge for one. He's not lunging for one. He eventually just relents and he does fly back out. Uh, as soon as he lands on her, they're gonna hear her start speaking in Sylvan, whoever can understand it, so Zadim <laughs> is going to hear, you and I are going to have a very long talk until you're out of here about your behavior. I'm being good? He says back in Sylvan, just, it's kind of like this whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounding uh, voice, which he's just like, I'm being good, you know, I'm just... When I tell you no, you are not to ask why I say no, or to argue. The whole point of doing things is to ask questions. That's why you, you do things. You are to understand that what I am telling you is for your well-being. I can't die. I don't care. I don't want you injured. You can still feel pain. I mean, yeah. Do you want to feel pain? Uh. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. She's going to put him on his shoulders. He leans against your shoulder, just <sighs> blowing, huffing out again, just deflating. After like 10 he seconds, she's gonna fucking itch his chin. She was watching the door. I'm gonna be watching the hallway because if she's expecting somebody, that means someone could be coming down here at any moment. She could be expecting rescue. Uh, also, just to help give you guys a more clear image, because she was describing it, uh, the doorway with the elven appearing woman is in the doorway on the right. She was towards the back and looking directly at the doorway. So if you walked in, she would be directly in front of you. Just out of curiosity, was she interacting with or were the zombies in the room interacting with her? No. So it, were, were they ignoring her? Like they couldn't see her? Like ignoring they, her just like they were talking to each other, focusing on their own zombie conversation rather than interacting with her. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out, like, could I make an educated guess that she was a ghost? Or just invisible? If she was invisible, Arcus wouldn't have been able to see her. Correct. Correct. 
that's not very good because if she wasn't using magic to be invisible then it's either a projected not. image somehow or she's dead yeah <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm curious. So, forgive me, but I'm gonna fucking try and quietly walk towards the doorway. Uh, I will too, quietly, 100%. You're in that 20s. <laughs> okay, um. If you would like, you can roll perception to try and see if you can hear anything while you're approaching. Is everyone else staying back? Hey, no, not currently. Feels bad. <laughs> I'm staying can back. I, I was gonna ask, can I have advantage, but no. Nope. Uh, you guys kind of get close, and you're just like, listen, you just hear, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. is gonna look at the doorway and then look at Ixius like <laughs> I mean I can keep him from seeing us be nice but then she couldn't see us uh, you, you wanna uh, go in? do I Navarus is gonna shrug do I know like how the zombies are just positioned by the door uh, based off of what you had seen before, they are kind of in a, a half circle where they're basically with their backs towards this figure. Can I peek? So would they see me if I poke my head in? Possibly. Uh, depending on how good their perception is. Uh, with the... Can, uh, hmm? I want to see how they react to... Hmm. I'm going to make a illusion of a rat like just skittering across the floor. Okay, you just in front of them where they can clearly see it. So you just have it skitter. Yeah. Uh, you hear. Uh, 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 and they just stay seated or something. Yeah, they stay seated. Uh, now Vara's gonna poke her head in and look at the ethereal-looking person. <laughs> okay. Peek your head oh, in. Oh boy. Oh, I'm God. still watching the hallways. Uh, and the door. I, I want to say that I probably tried to move to go with them, mm -hmm. but then became hesitant because I feel safer with Sadim and. Uh, fuck, I forgot his name again! Ebrin. 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 So now she's smack dab in the middle and doesn't know what to do. <sighs> stuck in the middle with you. No. And she's kind of uh, stuck with a little bit of fear, because now she has no idea what the fuck. She's kind of low-key panicking. panicking. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so you peek your heads in. Uh, Ixius, you're still like able to peek in without revealing yourself, because I'll give that to you for the nat 20. Naivara, on the other hand... You peek your head in fully. Just like, hey, I'm going to peek my head in. Uh, the zombies do notice... Actually, what was your stealth? It was like an eight. Oh, yeah. They notice you. When they look <laughs> over to you like... You'll see them like... What's up? Finally. You see the woman stand up. You will feed my treasures. What? <laughs> what? Can you repeat that? You will feed my precious out of character. Is my that what treasures? You will oh! feed my treasures. Do I hear this in character? She's not saying it, you know, under her breath. Her voice is wispy, but it is loud enough that you can hear it. But that is also where we'll be ending the today night session. Oh boy! With her standing up, eyes widening in a dark gleefulness as her face starts to shift. But well, how it's great. shifting, we will go Thanks. to next week. Oh, Thanks boy. for setting off the banshee. Thanks, Navara. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, here, let me point this out. The only reason that your ass didn't jump fully into that room is because Steve had told you not to. I don't think he said anything. She just got scared on her own. She was just like, true. um, the description, scary. I'll stay here. <laughs> I want to go and see, but uh, scary. I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> I, right, but I'll she be, was I'll be right room. back. I got to go do something. All right. We're, 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 we're uh, we're she wasn't even near now. anyone. She was just in the middle. Hey, I was yeah. a nice to tomorrow, okay? You were. Her, I'm teaching her a spell, okay? Yeah. yeah. That right. fucking you know what? intro she... is hilarious. She really <laughs> fucking appreciates that, and she loves. Of course. She loves them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, luckily, right, I'll be back. I'll yeah. probably be gone in like five five minutes. Yeah, we're gonna be yeah. ending the stream now, anyway, so no worries. Oh right. wow. Yeah, but um. So yeah, we're, we've set the stage for this uh this quote-unquote unknown elven entity because apparently out of character a few people are uh, pretty aware of what's going on but that's still half the fun because even though you know they know their characters do not oh, wow. actually you said elven so i'm wondering if i can roll to figure out what the fuck didn't you roll arcana you rolled arcana did i roll oh that's you right a nine. I don't you don't know count. dang thing <laughs> i don't well, know fucking... you're gonna die <laughs> i know her voice fucking grates my ears it's meant to so thank you everyone so much. We will see you again either if you're watching this stream. This stream is every Wednesday. We're shooting the shit around 4 p.m. Easter shit. Standard Time. We start a little bit after 4.30, just depending on people's schedules, of course. We have to, you know, roll with the punches, do what we got to do. But if you are enjoying this, please do come by the stream. We absolutely would love to have more people in the chat Smash talking. Smash that the... subscribe button. <laughs> Smash God that subscribe it. button. Like it if you want to see more of this. Can we get 10 billion likes? Oh yes. Good. <laughs> and in the meantime, we will see you all next time for The Temptations of I'd Say. Or if you are also wanting to check out the other stream I do, I do also stream on Thursdays, same time, for Sorcery and Secrets, which I also will post. Oh, wow. I need I need to post the rest of the sorcery and secret stuff because I am a little bit behind on that right now. But I will catch up. Only on a little that. snappy, snappy. A little get bit, to okay? It. I'm getting to it. Don't worry about it. But in the meantime, <laughs> I will see you all next week or tomorrow, depending on which you choose. And if not, I hope you will enjoy this session. And when you see the next one pop up, feel free to stop on by. In the meantime, have a nice week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>